Hello, dudes. Welcome back. Good to have you all today. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic weekend. Good to see you again today. Running a little bit later than usual today, but I still made it to stream on time, and I'm happy about that. Heck yeah. How's it, how's it going today, everyone? Welcome back. Good to see you. Uh, today is part three of our Incantations Only playthrough of Elden Ring. Catch Flame has been uh, our big crutch so far. It has been carrying us to victory. Though I do fear how it'll do against Renala. We might have to use some more range stuff against her. But that's fine. We'll make it work just so we do everything else, you know? You know what I mean? Where do we leave off? All oh, right, we're at this cave, the Raya Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. We did finish this up at the end of stream yesterday. Uh, there is a memory stone, I believe, over here. So let's start out the day with going to get that. Just because we want to make sure that we have as many memory stones, memory slots for more spells as we possibly can have. How's it going today, guys? Who do I see in chat? I see Kevin, Andre, Degree, Jojo, King Hydro, Just Chez, uh, Micah, Donald, Diego, Mr. Nate, and Ruger Dude. Hope you had a killer birthday, Ruger Dude. Andy Das, Moonslayer, Dolphin, Matthew, Zionist, Charles, Heather, Tomek, Anne, and Brittany, Scrabble. How's it going, guys? Cole, good to see you. Anne, hello. What's up, Clements? Jumorn, Terry, Loafstruck, and Mamba, Yella, Fachette, Undecay, Noctis is back. Good to see you, man. Hope you've been well. What's up, Sardar and Greg and Beta Flame, Juka? Hello there. I started watching your old VODs because I have problems. Hey, man, if that's what you enjoy, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all, man. Hadi Ali, hello. Asher, good to see you. What's up, Andy and Crazy Burger? Thomas, how's it going today, everyone? It's great to see you all. Now, this island has some hidden turtles. So let's go get them. We got one. Point blank range, can't miss that. Very nice. What's up, AK? What's up, Taz? Samuel, hello. Dragon incantations versus boss types work well? Yeah, I just don't have a whole lot of dragon incantations yet. I've only got one, and I can't even use it. <laughs> I've only got one, can't use it yet. I need more arcane, need more levels. Is this dog? Yeah, this is dog. My day is all right, Fashet. I'm running a little bit behind my usual today, but it's not a big deal because I still made it to stream exactly when I'm supposed to, so it's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah, okay. I was actually having a little bit of uh, PC trouble today. Had a hard time getting my PC to actually start up. First time that's happened. First time this PC has ever given me an issue as well. It's been, I don't know. I built this PC a year before Cyberpunk came out. I originally built this PC to play Cyberpunk uh, on PC at the highest possible fidelity, and then it got delayed a couple times. So by the time it came out, the PC was already a year old. So it's almost exactly a year older than Cyberpunk is. So, you know, somewhere in that vicinity, somewhere between two and three years, I believe. And it's the first time that it's given me this type of issue. There it is. Forgot about the one in the tree. We got him. What's up, Risk? What's up, Shashwat? How's it going, guys? Southern, hello. Hydra, good to see you. How have you been? Hey, Joel. Bahamin, hello. What's my graphics card? I have a 3080 in my PC. Hey, Hakim. What's up, Embroidery? Playing PS5? Yeah, this is on a PS5. I play on all platforms, though. Currently on my PS5 playing the game. There's our memory stone. Very good. Very good. Um. Um. 
We got the memory stone from Lens Rise. Where is Lens Rise? I don't actually know the names of all these places. We got Oridisus's. Uh, we got the converted tower. We just got this one right here at Testus. I don't know which one is Lens. Hey, Julio, what's up? How's it going? Why'd you do that to Karen? Do what? Everything's fine. Karen, Karen's doing fine. By the Death Beast and the Scarlet Rot place? Oh, I haven't gone to Caleb yet. I've not gone to Caleb at all yet on this playthrough. I usually do that right after we completely earn ya. Okay, so. First things first. Uh, we need to go up here. We got a tree. We have Vike. And I think that's it up there. Oh, we also have the Eye of Sauron, which is somewhere like in this vicinity as well. So we're going to go up there and take care of that. Let's go to the Ruined Labyrinth and make our way up there. If you guys haven't already, make sure you have a like on the stream. We're already almost at 100, which is phenomenal. The fact that so many people hit the like button right away when they come into the channel to hang out is amazing. Thank you all for coming by today. It means a hell of a lot. Let's go beat up this Erd Tree avatar, shall we? Shall we, my dudes? Are you with me? What are my thoughts on Cyberpunk? I I enjoy the aesthetic a lot. Um, I don't know what it is. Like I enjoy a lot of the game, but something about the game just feels off. And I don't... I, I have a hard time spotting it. I will say that the gunplay in it, like the actual weapons, feels weird. I don't know. There's something... There's something about it that I cannot spot that when I first played it was pretty off-putting. I enjoy the game overall, but something about it was just... It just feels like something was missing or something. It just... It, it feels... It feels foreign. It feels so awkward in some capacity, and I cannot spot it exactly. And I don't know why that is. It's the strangest thing, man. I don't feel that way about a whole lot of video games, but something about it... Yeah, like Matt said, it feels disconnected. Strange. Fake. Something about it is just off. It's... It really is odd. But I... Dude, I still have the game installed on my PC because I enjoy the aesthetic so much. The aesthetic of Cyberpunk is fantastic. I love just loading up... Loading up the game and walking around Night City. It's super cool. But it feels like... I enjoyed that the game is in first person, but I feel like the game was designed for third person. I think it would be better if it were third person, in fact. And I don't know if that's a hot take or not. <laughs> I simply do not know if that's a hot take or not. Ah, you still hit me. Something as off describes it very well. Yeah, there's just something. And it just feels so... Like, I think Matt put it really well. The world feels disconnected and strange. I And I, and I don't know why, particularly. It's just the way it is. It doesn't mean that I don't enjoy it. There's just that aspect is all, you know? Roll that so early. I'm in pain.
All right, tree down. Hey, Nefemi, what's up? Didn't feel very well blended at all, like some aspects felt out of place. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think it, it. I think a lot of people feel the same way as well on this. The, the, the driving is probably the worst mechanical thing of the game, but also the actual FPS, like first-person shooter aspect, it just feels awkward. I feel like it would have been a lot better if it was third person, but I do enjoy looking at the city from a first person perspective at the same time. It's dude, it's yeah, I just it feels so strange. It, it, this this isn't me bashing on the game either, by the way. This is like I I enjoy like the city they built. I think it's great. I just, I just think that it just feels off in a lot of ways. That's all. Ah shit. I can't help but wonder if they intended it to be more FPS and then, you know, reeled that in for the sake of people expecting RPG aspects or vice versa. But it just feels like a, a weird mix of the two ideas to a point where it just feels very off. Hey, Smithicus, what's up? What talismans do I plan on getting? Um... You know, I don't really know. I just don't really plan my builds that far ahead. Obviously, I could probably be more effective if I were to, but man, I just don't really plan my builds that far ahead. I just kind of go with the moment and use what I find, what I get my hands on. Is that weird? <laughs> Is that weird, man? I'm a very in-the-moment type of player. Okay, uh, I think our faith is in a good spot. Uh, our health is okay with 700 HP. I'm going to start building up a little bit of arcane. What level am I? 45. I want to get my arcane up so I can actually use some of these dragon incantations. I need to do that. Let me let this madness go away. Do, 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 do. Hey, Luo, what's up? Now, guys, remember the idea with the Eye of Sauron here is if that it cannot see you, then it cannot build up madness. You want to use trees and rocks to uh, get around that idea. I just failed miserably in that aspect, but we're good. We're good. We're fine. Ah, it saw me. Hit that guy with a big old fireball. What's up, Demangalair? What's up, Elden Beast? Hello, Parasites. Hello, Marcus. Okay. It's so awkward what some of these things uh, are like, like that are actual attacks, like that little, that little side thing that he does. It's such a weird attack. It's so hard to read that. I think it's a lot of the issues that people have with rats in general. They have a couple of attacks that are just... They don't look like attacks. They just kind of look like they're shuffling. <laughs> it's so weird. Back to work tomorrow, Brent. Ah. Back to work tomorrow. What's up, Mike? Thank you for all these runs showing people how much replayability this game has. Hell yeah, dude. I have a good time doing it, man. Thanks for hanging out with me while I do it. Hell yeah. Go, 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 go. Please climb faster. Son of a... <gasps> <Whew. laughs> 5 HP. I think it does increments of 5. 
<laughs> oh, hey, is there anything up there? I can't remember. What's that, Randa? What's my favorite incantation? Um, Frozen Lightning is pretty solid. Frozen Lightning's pretty damn good. I like that. Hey, Nando, what's up? What's up, Richard? If I had delayed literally a fraction of a second longer, I'd be dead there. Feels... Feels good, man. Feels good. Where's that Sight of Grace? I always have the hardest time spotting this thing. There it is. Hey, Dadang, what's up? Guys, thank you all for tuning in. It's great to see you today. Every time my son walks past the TV, he thinks you're playing as a Simpson. <laughs> we don't even watch The Simpsons. Well, maybe I am. Maybe I am a Simpson. I'm Karen Simpson. Hey, Cruisin', what's up, dude? All right, let's uh, put that on there. Now we gotta go fight Vike. Hey, Cahill. Hope you're all doing fantastic today. Rats are weird for me, sometimes really aggressive and sometimes almost friendly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The ones in the sewers under Landell specifically are notoriously friendly. It's very awkward. All right. Fingerprint Vike. Where are you? Hold on. Let me get uh, this other frenzy spell. Frenzied burst. Frenzied Burst is very good. Used to be better, but it's still very good. All right, let's see if we can kill Vike. This ought to be good. Uh, this fight is always hell. Let's do it. Spawn. The damage is my god, sir. I'm almost maddened. Uh oh, bad time for that, I guess. Yep, <laughs> arcane equals fire damage buff, and arcane specifically for uh dragon communion incantations. Hope you're doing amazing as well, degree. Oh, hold on. I got some memory slots to uh, utilize here. Memorize. Memorize. What do we want to do? Um, Flame of the Frenzy. We got Howl of Shabriri. I don't think we can actually apply Madness on Vike, can we? Maybe we could try. <laughs> we could always try. Got Vikes? Yeah, as I always do. Vike and his war spear are legitimately difficult to fight. The way the way poke weapons work in this game, they're very easy to target. Um, so so say if I dodge in what would be a typical dodge fashion against a slash weapon, the, the way that his weapon works with it being poke is he can realign it instantly. And so it's just very hard to actually not get hit by. It's just naturally very good in that regard. What's an easy build to start with? I've quit this game 15 times today. Uh, Albert, uh, the game is just not easy in general, but I would say the easiest thing you probably can do is just focus on building up maybe a little bit of bleed. <laughs> hey. That didn't work. That didn't work. Is it parryable? Uh... His general standard pokes? Yes. What is little charge? No. Hey, 
Hey, Stefan, what's up? Uh, but yeah, the game is just naturally difficult. So I'd say if you're looking for a way to make it easier, focus on making like a bleed build. Uh, use weapons that have bleed on them. Level those up and use them against every enemy that you can that does that does bleed. Uh, and go from there. That's probably the easiest thing you can do for the game. Bloodborne is hard, but not as hard as Bloodborne or Dark Souls 3. The thing is, Deadblade is the game is still hard regardless of what it is compared to other games. That doesn't matter, man. That just doesn't matter. It's still a difficult game regardless. Oh my god, this guy. Have lightning. Why is he not dodging? Okay, is this our is this our our winning spell? Oh, he actually uh, maneuvered out of that one. Ah, he does dodge. <laughs> My god, he's eating this up. Dude, that hurts so much. <laughs> that hurts so much, man. Pain. Pain. You can charge the lightning? Yeah, yeah. You hold it down, it can do more damage. This guy is difficult. Yeah, he's definitely for me the only the only other I guess tarnished like NPC in the game that is as difficult as Vike would be Moongrum. Moongrum is just absolutely painful. Moongrum will parry the heck out of you and not be sorry about it. I've been alright, the end, how are you? Who's Moongrum? He's the NPC in front of Renala's room before the elevator. Oh, the back step there. Ah, see, that's a good time to do it. When he's doing his spell thing, man, that's good. Ah. Ah. I probably shouldn't stand in the madness flame. Thoughts? Okay. I guess he's just going to eat the lightning. I don't... I don't know what the deal is there. He doesn't really just... He just doesn't dodge the lightning as much. He will sometimes, but most of the time he just eats it. That's weird. I guess that's a thing. In fact, I would say he had more success dodging the charged lightning. Like if I held it down versus just tapping the button. All right. Yeah, he, uh, he'll just kind of eat it if it's not charged. That's very awkward. Very awkward. But it's okay because we got the Shabriri Grape and the uh, Vikes War Spear. Not that I'll be using Vikes War Spear, but it is one of my favorite weapons in the game. It's a very fun weapon to use in PvP. Unfortunately, it's very easy to counter, though. A little advice, if you do encounter Vice War Spear in PvP, whenever someone taps L2, literally just run at them, roll when it crashes into the ground, get behind them, backstab them. Easy critical. 
one of the most counterable Ashes of War in the entire game. Okay, uh, the other thing up here is this tower, but I can't do that until I have Erudition and the uh, Burger King hats. So from here, I guess we just go do Caria Manor real quick. Let's go beat up Loretta. Or the spirit of Loretta. Elden Beast, Elden Stars versus Stops Barrier equal does equal Thops win. Holy Breath versus Stops Barrier equals Stop. Wait, it, it deflects the Holy Breath? Wow. Thops Barrier actually deflects both of those. That's huge. I, I, I kind of like, I'm happy that I found a way to take out Elden Beast so quickly with sorceries. But at the same time, I, I, I killed him so quickly that I didn't encounter either of those uh, abilities. So I'm glad that you tested it. That's huge, though. The fact that it deflects both of those is pretty massive. That's pretty massive. Is armor not allowed, but shield is? I just haven't put on armor, croissant. I like to have the faster rolling. Just my preferred way. Um, 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 um Let's get rid of Howl of Shabriri. Let's put on Frenzied Burst. Frenzied Burst is going to be good for sniping the hands. I'm surprised by that, though. The fact that it deflects the breath specifically is interesting. Uh, I don't really need a whole lot here. But watch this. <laughs> sniper rifle. We have a sniper rifle spell, man. But yeah, that, that, thank you for letting me know. Thank you for testing it. That's... That's huge. That's such a big thing. My god. Hey, Joshua, they were the 40 rupees. Hey, Josh, your favorite kind of weapon? Mine are katana. Uh, I like Mirai's Executioner Sword, Joshua. That's my favorite weapon in the whole game. It's very fun to use. I love the Ash of War. I love the uh, the attack style. I love the art of the weapon. It just looks cool, you know? So that's definitely my favorite. Uh, I, I guess second favorite would be Vike's War Spear that we just talked about. That's a fun, very fun weapon to use as well. Yeah, I think those would be my top two, man. They were the 40 rupees. And Yella, they were the $5 Super Chats. Recently completed an incantation-only run. It was the most fun I've had on this game. Good luck. Love the streams. That's awesome, Yella. Hell yeah, dude. I'm glad you enjoy the streams. Thank you for the five spot, man. Very cool. Not yet, Mike. Not yet. Give me that. Thank you. Not that I'll be using it, but thank you. Hey, Celestale, what's up? Just woke up and refused to say good afternoon. Well, good morning. <laughs> good morning to you as well. I'm going the wrong way, but it's fine. Right here, this guy right here has a Karian Piercer, by the way. I don't need that because it's a sorcery, but that is where you get Karian Piercer right there. And Karian Piercer is a very high damage uh, sorcery. That can hit many targets in a straight line. It's very good. What's up, Yakuza? Do do do. Mog Spear is your favorite? That's a good one, yeah. The Ash of War on that is insanely strong. Every time you say that name, what name, Screamer? Which run has been my favorite? The one where I use Mirai's Executioner Sword. My Dragon Warrior. I use Dragon Communion Incantation specifically alongside Mirai's Executioner Sword. And it was a very good time. I had an excellent time doing that. Great Spears in general are underrated. Yeah, Great Spears are pretty solid, man. Same with uh, Thrusting Swords and Heavy Thrusting Swords. 
Oh, I see, Screamer. I see. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> this is some kind of run? Uh, we're doing uh, incantations only playthrough. Hey, Colin, what's up? Do you like Radon swords? Yeah, Radon swords are pretty cool. I love the fact that uh, Radon swords come in a, uh, a package deal. Regardless of the fact that no other swords really get that, because of the nature of that weapon, when you get one, you automatically get two. Just because that's how it works when you dual wield it or put two hands on the weapon. It just hits two swords. I think that's awesome. I really love that. Hey, Arbarge. Ah. I fell. I think scythes don't get enough attention for how good they are. For sure. For sure. Scythes are also pretty solid. Especially because you can put, you know, you automatically have a spinning slash on most of them. And they apply bleed very quickly because of that. You go up to something, tap L2, it's almost instant bleed. Red brand short bow. Neat. Okay, that does, like, no damage. Yeah, the lightning is better here. Is a great sword good if I'm doing a dex build? Uh, curved great swords, sure. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we got the Ash of War Loretta Slash, which, uh, speaking of, speaking of, uh, spears, if you, if you put Loretta Slash on a basic spear, not a war spear so much, but a basic spear, it is insanely good. Do not underestimate that, especially if you're into PvPing, Loretta Slash will roll catch people like crazy. Think of, uh, what Winged Scythe has. The Winged Scythe's Ash of War is very good at roll catching as well. It's pretty much the same idea, just on a spear. So if you want a poke-style weapon with that Ash of War, it's very solid. Do not underestimate that. Is this some sort of parry incantation? No. I, I have parry on this very old wooden shield. Rickety shield. Why is it good on a normal spear? Because the speed of it on a normal spear, uh, it, it, uh, it kind of catches people off guard. People don't expect it on a spear as well. 
And they see that Ash of War and they think of a scythe, but then it's on a spear, so then you follow that up with a couple of pokes, or you do it after a couple of pokes, and everyone's just confused. It's very good at roll catching. That fireball was going, man. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Agula's Moonblade, man. Pain. Everything was going just, just, you know, just fine. Just fine. Until the Moonblade. It swings a sword? Yeah. It's <laughs> uh, that, that dragon specifically, uh, its name is Adula, and it has a very powerful sorcery called Adula's Moonblade. It frostbites almost instantly. It does a lot of damage if you get hit by the blade directly, and it sends out a uh, frost like wave out as well. Shit hurts, man. come back okay i would like i would like everyone to, to witness what just happened there uh some of that magic fire just like doubled back at me very awkwardly what the hell just happened That shit's illegal, man. Someone tell him. That hurt. Physically and emotionally. But if I'm being honest with you, mostly emotionally. Am I choosing? I'm going to go with Golden Order ending. Okay, uh, we'll come back and talk to Ronnie later. Don't want to do that just now. Just wanted to get all that sorted. Um, I think what we do now is we go to the Academy. I don't think there's anything else left out here that I want to do. Oh, wait, hold on. I know of something. Um, a little something right here. Well, not right there, but right there. That one. Right there. Oh shit, I left my... I left my souls. My runes. Let's go grab the runes real quick. Yeah, time to conquer the academy, man. The academy will be mine. The Academy will be mine. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? Name's Josh. Just passing through. Or I should say, name's Karen. Passing through. Need to grab these. Um, I'm not sure how many it is. I think we did level up already, so it shouldn't be a lot, but I still want to grab them just in case. 153. 
153 runes, guys. That was not worth my time. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, why am I still in combat, game? Cyclones, thank you for the $5 super chat. Bleed on two small thrusty boys and power stance is Jackson Pollock's wet dream. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> thank you for the $5 super chat. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, you know what else is something like low key powerful that a lot of people do not think of is everyone knows of the, the thrusting sword. Um, ant spur rapier, right? The ant spur rapier that you get from uh, Lady Marais or whatever her name is up by the Shaded Castle. You can actually throw other effects on there as well. Uh, as unique as the weapon may seem, it's not actually considered a unique weapon. It's considered a standard weapon that you can change up. You can change the Ash of War on it. You can actually implement other things on there. And you can put poison on there. You can put frost on there. You can even put bleed on there. which is pretty cool, pretty powerful. So you can have like, you can have uh, Scarlet you Rot alongside you Poison, so you can have double dots. You can throw Frostbite on there, so that way you can slow them down or whatever you want to do, you know? I can set aside. Elect aside. You put Bleed on there if you want to make them, uh, you know, experience true pain. Not all, of this. Those all that. It's very powerful, Sorry, me. but slept on all I'll the time. Be I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Thank you, Diclones, for the $5 super chat, by the way. I appreciate it. What's up, Bit1? Good night. You have a good night, Bit1. I'll see you later. No such thing as late around here, Julia. Good to see you. I've gleaned some of the reason the distant was so faint with everyone finally. I'm certain now. I'm certain. I'm certain. Okay, that's done. That is finished until a little bit later. Now let's go. Um, yeah, we just want to get inside the academy now. So let's just ride south. Poison affinity seppuku will give bleed, poison, and rot. Pair two in a power stance and do jump attacks. I imagine that is ridiculous. Yeah, that sounds... That sounds like true pain. How many times I've finished the game? This will be my 15th total time completing the game. Uh, Dragon Cube, we're heading towards Renala. Hayata looks just like Arena. Yes, Aaron. Yes, exactly. Think about this. Irina gets murdered. Her father, Edgar, becomes known as Edgar the Revenger, right? He drops a Shabriri Grape upon killing him and defeating him. And his daughter, Irina, looks just like Hayeta. The only difference being is that Hayeta has a blindfold on and a robe over her original dress, which still has the blood stains on it. Yup. Yup. So yes, you are right. <laughs> I close with another five dollar super chat. Can confirm Ant Spur is broken. Yes, it's in it's it's very strong. In fact, if you're the type of person that likes to do a level one playthrough of the game, Ant Spur is something that should be in your uh, in your toolkit. Yes. No notification, lame. Hmm. But you still made it, Static. Thanks for tuning in, man. Diclones, thank you again for the five spot, dude. That's very nice. Gonna drop the great knight Vic does. Uh it's it's not the, the main quest item. It's one of the three that you need to get to the final one, whatever it's called. Not the Yeah, it's a Shabriri grape. This is a fingerprint grape. The other ones are Shabriri grapes. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got it right.
No, let's do this fight. This ought to be hell. Do, do, do. Okay, let's go. Let's kill this guy. Let's see about hitting him with the black flame. Wow, I still hit him with that, but he poised right through it. Terrible. Oh. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Sad boy hours. Okay. Okay. Which ending am I doing? Uh, Hell spawn. I'm going for the golden order ending this playthrough. After he runs at you and heals in front of you? I know. Toxic. Toxic, this guy. Hey, noble one. What's up? Let's hit him with a frenzy. Yeah, like Screamer said, Ken. You can do it, man. It's tough, but you can do it. Yora, don't you die on me. Kill him. Good job. I'm sitting back here just sniping. <laughs> I'm just sniping, man. The wind up on that pitch, yeah, it hits pretty hard and it does a little bit of madness build up, so, you know. Frenzy chargeable as well? Yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah, it has two different casts. You have the standard right here, like this. And then you have the charge, like this. It's basically a sniper rifle coming out of your eyeballs. So that's pretty cool. Doesn't Yuri get possessed by Shibriri? So maybe Hayata does too. Uh, he does if you don't do his quest, I believe. Or no, no, uh, he he does if you. Don't do Hyetta's quest, I think. You have to actually go see the uh, the three fingers after you get after the whole conversation down there with the three fingers. Um he doesn't worry about taking over Yora's body. But if you don't do that, then you'll see Yora possessed by Shabriri. Yeah. Think you can still find Arena's corpse in Peninsula? No, her body disappears after she becomes Hayata. Or at least it's supposed to. Because we've actually discussed that on stream before and we went back and we even triple checked. And her body is no longer there. The sword is, the pool of blood is, but her body is not. Hey, good to see you as well, Shinjin. Have a safe journey. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, why is nothing dodging? You're a bloodhound knight. Why aren't you running around like a mad lad?
Where'd you get that frenzy spell, though? You get it from the same area where Vike spawns in front of the Church of Inhibition. There's a little bit of, uh, like, a wooded area down here. I believe it's down here. Yeah, you go up this slope, and then you go this way. There's, like, a wooded area down here, and there's a uh, scarab. That's glowing frenzy orange that has it in its pocket. Don't question the no dodging, you'll jinx it. <laughs> True. No problem, Hellspawn. You can also get Howl of Shabriri over that way as well, which is like an AoE frenzy spell. You get that at the uh, the tower where the Eye of Sauron is. Someone explain the turtle shit? What do you mean? The turtle shit. I need you to be more specific. Are we talking turtles in game? Are we talking like the turtles next to people's names? Someone tried chocolate with cheese? Uh, nope. Turtly enough for the turtle club. Ah, the range. It's shorts. Feels bad, man. Oh, does this guy have shard spiral? Oh no, no, never mind. It's the, it's the other one that does. Look at that, a one shot. Almost a one shot. Never mind. Where do you get that finger seal and how good is it? The finger seal? Uh, you talking about the uh, Flame of the Frenzy seal? I, I, which one are you talking about? Yeah, there, <laughs> there's a lot of seals throughout the game. If you're talking about the three uh, the three fingers one, the Flame of the Frenzy one, you get that from Hayata's quest. Okay, that was bad. The finger seal I'm using? Oh, the God Slayer seal? You get that from Stormvale Castle. On your while ago and must say thanks to you. I am now addicted to Elden Ring. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. That's cool. Thanks for joining us, Khaleesi. What's up, Batosai? Good to see you. A rune arc. You can beat Rykard again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm convinced if I can do it with a sor with sorcery and a bow, then I can do it with incantations as well. Especially because incantations, I'm going to have uh, a lot more tools in that regard. I'll have Scarlet Rot. I'll have Poison. I'll have Frost. It's a matter of just experimentation to see what will work the best for me in that regard. Hey, Ken, thank you for a $5 super chat. I'm at 130 hours and not done. If you were to play the game regular, how many hours do you think it would take? I killed all rune bosses. If I were to just, like, I, I mean, I kind of play the game in a way where I get through it and, and anywhere from, like... If I, if I say go on the low end of four hour streams and I beat it anywhere from like five streams to seven, eight streams, then I would say anywhere from like 20 to 40 hours for a regular playthrough. 
if I'm just doing strictly uh, all remembrances. If we're doing full exploration, then we're talking like 50 to 60. Do, do, do. Hey, Joel, what's up? Thank you again, Ken, for the $5 super chat. It's very kind. Why do you go up there if you're never going to use the summon? Because it's easier to go up there and take out those archers. Than to just try to run down the path while they're shooting at your ass the whole time. It's just, it's better pathing. Why, why let them shoot you in the ass with arrows that can stagger you at the perfect moments? where there's a bunch of dogs when you can just go up there and fight them individually very quickly. It's just smarter pathing. It's not a matter of whether or not I'll use something, it's just a matter of making my character survive in a better way. Hey, Jay DeVito with a five pounds. Do you have a plan for any armor or fashion souls for this run? Or are you just going to go with the flow on that? I generally just go with the flow, Jay. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't plan too far ahead on my playthroughs. I don't plan the talismans I'm going to use most of the time. I just kind of... I don't plan the armor. I don't even plan the weapons unless it's something that... Like, I, I specifically have a weapon in mind. Like, my Dragon Warrior playthrough, I knew I wanted to use the Mariah's Executioner's Sword, so I went for that early. Uh, but generally speaking, man, I just kind of go with the flow. Whatever makes sense at the time for what I'm using at the time. I just find the game more interesting that way. Just kind of go with it. Thank you for the five pounds, Jay. Turtles in the chat. Okay, so Rolo, the turtles in the chat next to people's names means that they're a member of the channel. Meaning that they were either gifted a membership or they choose to become a member on their own volition. It's just something that uh, just shows that off that they are a member. It also means they have access to the uh, library of emotes that we have that are also turtles. They're just turtle themed. I like turtles. Uh, growing up, I had a couple turtle pets. I'm a big fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Love the video games specifically. Love the animated show when I was a kid. Love the live action movies when I was a kid. All that stuff. Oh, I'm out of juice. Am I secretly a turtle? Shit, they're onto me. They're on to me. I'm assuming Graven School Talisman is just for sorcerers, right? Yes. I get it, man. You got magic missiles like crazy. I understand. Okay? I get it. Hey, Thomas. What's up? Hey, so that was painful.
Memory Stone. All right, so what's the next spell we want to put on here? What else are we doing? Uh, I should probably throw in Flame Cleanse me. I should probably keep that on me from this point on in the game, huh? Probably just keep that in my pocket. I'm going to get rid of Lightning Strike. Uh, let's go with... I can't use that till 41 faith. Flame Sling, I won't ever be using. Let me throw on Beastial Sling just for a little bit of something there. I still need one more Death Root as well to get uh, Rock Sling. Need that too. We need that too. Hey guys, do me a favor. If you haven't already, make sure you leave a like on the stream. It'll do the thing where YouTube helps us out and helps us all become friends and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That'd be pretty dope. That'd be pretty cool. Look, what uh, arcane do I need for the dragon thingamabob, by the way? When do I need that? Or what do I need? 16? We're only two away from Dragon Maw. Dragon Maw is hilarious. You ever want to turn into a dragon and eat, eat your enemies? The game literally allows you to do that. It's awesome. It's awesome, dude. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe as well. So that way you don't miss any of our future streams. I like to play a lot of single player video games here. I love playing difficult games. If a game has a difficulty slider, I almost always set it to hard mode. Games to look forward to. Uh, we will be doing a God of War playthrough before God of War Ragnarok comes out. We'll play that on the hardest difficulty. We'll take on all the Valkyries and stuff as we do. Uh, looking forward to Thymesia, which is a sci-fi Souls-like game coming out in just a... Just like, I don't know, 11, 12 days, something like that. That's very soon, too. Can you stop hitting me with your... Whatever that is? Your pretend sword? Alright, what does this talisman do that I just got? spellcasting time uh yeah let's let's do that i think i like that more than Erd tree favor what's up orkin yeah i might check out uh, spider-man on pc that could be cool that could be fun also looking to play a little bit of what's it called cult of the lamb that game's looking like it's gonna be a good time too if you're into roguelites That'll be fun. Okay. Can I draw the turtle icons myself? No, uh, a real life friend named Tim. Grew up with him. We've known each other since we were both very, very young. And he is a, uh, he's, he's skilled in arts. He's very talented in that regard. And so I work with him for almost all of the art on my channel. What's up, Eric? Level 48 right now. Spell casting, time effect incantations? Yes, they are spells. Incantations aren't sorceries, but they are still spells. They are still magic. It's just faith-based magic instead of intelligence. Do, 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 do. I played Slay the Spire a little bit. Yeah, I enjoy that game. I'll put it like this. Uh, for Cult of the Lamb, if you enjoy games like Binding of Isaac, you'll like Cult of the Lamb. That's, that's essentially the gist of it. You just have a little bit more of a thematic idea around lambs with cults. <laughs> that's essentially it. Want some crab? What Spider-Man is your favorite game? Honestly, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not really big on superhero stuff, but I do enjoy some of the superhero-based games, like Guardians of the Galaxy. I actually really enjoyed. 
as well as I enjoy uh, Spider-Man. Played that on PS4 Pro. That was cool. You know what? I think I just forgot a uh, stone sword key on the fountain thing over there. I did. Right above my head. I'm depressed. It's fine. All right, Moongrum. You actually walked into it. <laughs> oh, it hurts so much. Okay, so this guy is actually pretty scary because he does have Kari and Piercer. So I got to be aware of that. Kari and Piercer does not mess around. There it is. Oh my God. Yep, look at that damage on that. My God. Oh, that follow-up totally failed. There we go. Moongrum is a bastard, man. An absolute unit. It's pairing allowed, yeah. The only rule is that my damage must be applied via incantations. Thoughts on Returnal? I love that game. Returnal is excellent. I've only played it for like 10 hours, though. I need to play more Returnal at some point, guys. I need to do that. All right, we're going to hit the Site of Grace, and then we're going to go up to the rooftops. Mimic tier? No, I don't use summons personally. You can charge horn? Yeah. You can charge a lot of spells. There's the standard horn, but here's the charged horn. When you charge, not only does it do more damage, but it also will uh, lunge further. You can charge lightning spear. That's the standard, but this is the charge. You can charge frenzied burst. That's standard, but this is charged. Hold on, mana. This is charged. You can charge a lot of spells in this game. All right, let's go do it to the rooftops uh, before we head up to Renala. And yes, they give the reminder on the fountain. Let's grab this stone sword key. I believe it's a stone sword key anyway. Yes, very good. Okay, rooftops, let's go. Uh, Tennessee, Ken. All right, I think I grabbed the Burger King hat down there already, so we're good to go. Let's go through and beat up these guys, shall we? Oh, okay. A one shot. Arrows. Speed run? No, I'm not a speed runner. What's the best incantation to replace Catch Flame early on? Um, why do you want to replace Catch Flame, Tristan? That's that's my first question. Are you looking for a certain style of incantation specifically? Because Catch Flame is something that, as an incantation, can stay with you the entire playthrough. Not only is it uh, 
very low FP cost, but the damage that it does for that FP cost is insane. I beat Tree Sentinel with Catch Flame as soon as I started the game, for example. I beat him with nothing but Catch Flame damage, 100%. And that just kind of shows that... I, 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 oh, I, should, I should say it like this. I use Catch Flame for like 99% of all of Limgrave, including Weeping Peninsula, in the first like four hours of the game. It's very, very good. And so I have to ask why you want to replace it. Are you, do you just want something with more range? Is that what you're going for? Oh my god. I'm in so much pain. Jerk. Where'd the other one go? There was two of them. I think the other one might have fallen off. Hey, Bartek, what's up? Yeah, the other one fell off. What's up, Patrick? I'm gonna use armor because I want to be as light as possible for faster, faster rolling. Some meteor bolts. Killed one already? There's supposed to be three on this bridge, Raph. There's three of them here. I've only killed two. The third one must have fallen off. All right, we can drop there. Can't drop there. No two only? There's three. You find one closer, and then there's two back here behind the mage. found the stream randomly i stay now subscribed and let's go hell yeah dude thanks for subscribing that's awesome wire hack thanks for joining us ah uh, wrong spell that's not what i want out of life no great rune i often just kind of don't use them <laughs> i have no real explanation behind it i just don't Hey, Susie, what's up? Nah, listen. I am willing to go back to show you. Okay? Listen. Listen, man. Are you with me, guys? Hold my hand. Come with me. I will show you. What's up, Bandrew? How's it going today? What class did I start with? Profits. You want to see my stats? Give me just a moment and I'll show you the stats. Let me uh, not take a bunch of damage. Okay, here you go. Stats are this right now. Uh, John, you need to find both halves of the Hay League Tree Medallion, and then you just kind of go through the linear areas from there. Um, without too many spoilers with the amount of people that are here right now, what you want to do is just find both halves of the Hay League Tree Medallion. If you don't know how to do that, my best, my, my best suggestion would be to look it up, because it's easier to have physical representation in front of you than it would be to say it via word of mouth. a lot easier. Did I go up here yet?
and is being held? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I did come up here. Okay, so let me show you. Let me show you. There's, you see these two right here? There's one right here, right above my head. Muhammad, are you looking? Right here. Here's one. Here's number two. You see that? There's number two. Now look to the right. Look to the right. Right over there. There's number three. Look at that. You see that? Three of them. Oh, he's spinning! Beyblade! I hate those guys, though. What's up, Paper Rot? How's it going? <laughs> Let it rip! And that's why I was confused, because the third one disappeared. I think it fell off the side somewhere. The dogs are worse? Absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. Whoop! Oh, I almost missed that jump. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Nice. Hey, catch! Nice. Okay, so we have this way over here. There's an item over there, but we also have this stuff over here. I think we're going to go this way first. Catch this. There you go. And this guy is in range for this. There you go. Has Moongrum yet? Yeah, Zionist, we killed him. Oh, I need mana. You have to deal with Nile to get the medallion? Yeah. Nile can be. Nile can be tough, man. That's a fight that requires a lot of patience. Uh oh. Wrong spell. You guys think Miyazaki is a fan of Beyblade? Honest question. You guys think Miyazaki is a fan of Beyblades? So many things go Beyblade mode in this. It's kind of crazy. Oh, whoop. Sneaky Josh with the mid-game enemy add-on mod. Somehow on PS5, yeah. <laughs> I want to thank you. I've been in and out of the hospital for my kidney failure, but just got just got on dialysis yesterday. The only thing I've been doing is watching you and playing Elden Ring. Voice of reason, I hope that you recover the best you possibly can from this time on, man. I'm glad to keep you company in the meantime. That's that's really hard, dude. Much love to you, dude. Much love to you. You guys want to throw some hearts out there for voice of reason? I wish you well, man. I truly do. What's up, Jasper? How's it going? Uh, Big Deuce, I think I'm going for uh, Golden Order ending this one. Not sure if I can fall from up there somewhere. In fact, let me go look. Longest ladder of my life. Finally start the summer vacation. Nice paper. Nice. Long, long ladder. Okay, we're up here. Um, hmm. Oh, this is good. Right here. Perfect. Excellent news, everyone. Good news, everybody. Okay, we go again. My god, thank you for 450 likes on the stream already, guys. <gasps> I failed my jump. Okay, I want to I want to note that that's the second time I did that jump uh, in a very short-sighted fashion. The first time it worked out, the second time it did not. <laughs> oh no. 
I always think that there's like a lower platform there, and there's not. You have to, you have to actually make that jump. Cyclones, thank you for the $2 super chat. He's a fan of Bakugan. Uh, please don't hate me, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> please don't hate me, but I don't know what that is. Please forgive me. Cyclones, <laughs> thank you for the two spot, dude. I appreciate it a lot. Please stop throwing the black flame at that one. I used the wrong juice. I was about to subscribe, but you don't do Bakugan. Hey, listen. Listen, okay? I'm sure there's things that I know about that you don't. But we can still be friends. Okay? We can still be friends. Uh, this isn't gonna reach. This might. Oh, that's, that's spicy. That's just spicy. My God, lightning spear superiority, man. Lightning spear superiority. My God. My elbow, yeah. I was an adventurer like you until I took a arrow to the elbow, I guess. Yeah. Okay. We can make this jump this time, guys, because I'm actually aware of it. Very good. Now we're going to make this hop. Whoop. Okay, bro. Rude that guy is. Absolutely rude. I went the wrong way. Ah, this this still this still kinda works. I think the other thing is right nearby us, right? Yeah, that's right there. We can just go this way. That's fine. It's 11.30 p.m. in France, so I wish you a good one. Hey, have a good night, Tristan. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, is there anything else up here? There is. Let me get that. Let's hop over here. Another imbued sword key. That's something I don't do enough, by the way. I barely ever use the imbued sword keys. I think I've only done them like once each. Ever. This means, I guess, I could go to Far Missoula. Right? One of them goes to Far Missoula, if I remember correctly. So I could go get some, uh, some more spells. I just don't feel the need to, though. I love the charge black fireball one shots them. It's good stuff. Why is there so many of you guys? Ow. Listen, I was down to be their friend until they slashed me, whatever that weapon is. Okay. Okay, um, I know that we want to go down to get the other key for Thops. I know that. Just want to make sure there's nothing else up here. Hey! Can't just scare a guy like that, you know? <laughs> Look at him! Can you stop? Not what I wanted to do, I'm dead! 
I lived, bitch. I lived, bitch. Okay, we're good. Let's drop down here and get this key. Drop on this bridge. There's going to be enemies nearby. Let's see how the sling does, actually. A bestial sling. Did not stagger him. Okay, that's garbage. The fire at least staggers them, you know? I didn't want to flame cleanse me. Hey, look at that. Lazuli robe. Do, 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 do. Hey, so I'm just about out of mana. That can't be good, right? Hold on. You guys think that he'll accept a frenzied burst? So it turns out that no, um, he will not accept it. The good news is, is what was there is just a, a staff that I won't use. So it's fine. But let me just say that perfumer arrows are freaking strong, man. Perfumer bolts, rather. Not arrows. Those are bolts. That was just rude. Exactly what I'm saying, man. Have I seen the boys? I've seen the first two seasons, yeah. You guys want me to wear the robe? You want me to put on the Lazuli robes? What's up, relaxing? I started watching this series on YouTube, trying to catch up right now, but saw that you were live, so I decided to hop in. Thanks for joining us, Leonardo. That's awesome, man. Thank you for joining us. That's super cool. Hope you kicked the ladder. I don't think I did. I, uh, unfortunately don't think I did kick the ladder. <gasps> Sir! I hate this guy. What you did there is illegal. I'd like you to know that. All right, this should reach from here. Beautiful. Man, it's like having an electric sniper rifle. It really is. It truly is, man. Cyclones, think of the $5 super chat. Josh is a master baiter. He baited me into super chat to explain Bakugan. So it, shall, it shall. It's an anime where monsters transform from balls. Wait, really? <laughs> no! Hey, does anyone have any of those uh, neuralizer things? You guys know Men in Black, right? And they have the neuralizers that erase your short-term memory. Anyone have one of those on hand, by chance? 
How many runes? It was only 16 or 17,000. Not a big deal. Yeah, I got distracted by Baku Bakugan balls, I guess. <laughs> Die clones, thank you for the five spot, dude. I really appreciate the generosity. Thank you so much. I need someone to neuralize everyone in chat so that way none of us remember what just happened, okay? Join me in the lack of memory of what just happened, okay? We're all forgetters. Ken Tipton as well with the five gifted memberships of the community. That's incredible. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. What's up, Sir Bob? How's it going? Deathless run? No, I'm not doing a deathless run by any means. Not even close. Hey, if you're gifted a membership, make sure you sh show some love to Ken. And of course, if you do have the emotes here, spam the cult emote. Welcome to new members. Welcome to the new members. Thank you, Ken. Grabbing some of the drink. What happened? Absolutely nothing, man. Nothing happened. You saw nothing. You remember nothing. We're all happier for it. Isn't that something? I didn't just uh, miss that very easy jump again. It's fine. Ha! Later, idiot. What's up, Karmas? How's it going today? Ow, ow. Could you not with the arrows? They must have moved that building on you? Yeah, dude, I'm pretty sure I saw that building like scrooch over an inch or two and it made me just completely mess up the jump. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's good, you know? I don't need to go back that other way anyway, though, because it's just uh, a staff that I won't be making use of. So we're going to go up here, make the jump over there, grab the Burger King hat, and then we're going to go back to, uh, you know, the rest of the game. What's up, Stumble? How's it going? Who besides me would like to have this cool-ass dude named Josh sitting next to you telling you where to go to get the best shit for this game? <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Southpaw. It's good to have you here, man. And I'm glad you think I'm cool. Give me your hats. Thank you. Put the hat in the bag. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Ladder. Are you proud? Oh. That guy hurts. Okay, bro. Listen. Ah, Karian Greatsword. Hey, so let's not die to this guy this time, okay? Let's not die to him this time. He's going to have the Perfumer Bolts. But we should be able to hit him from right here with this. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god, the first two somehow missed. Look at this guy. He's a cheese ball. I'm dead. It's okay, we have ladder. This guy is a pain in my ass. Absolute pain in the ass. Hey, Ricardo, thank you for joining us from Portugal. Very cool. Uh, Where does the ladder drop? Is it from...
Let me think. Let's go here. Why not just block with shield? Because the perfumer bolts have such high damage that the shield would not likely help me survive anyway. Matt, thank you for the $2 super chat. Time to speak, speak to that crossbow dudes manager. Yes, let's go speak to the crossbow dudes manager. Um, I just hope that he's not like a self-manager type deal. Because if so, then, you know, it's going to be a painful conversation. You know? Come here. Hey, how are you alive? Thoughts? Matt, thank you for the two spot, man. Thanks, Mars. I love the last second change up on that. That's so fun. Your videos got me past the fire giant. You're the best. Yo, Terry, congrats on doing it, man. I'm glad that my tips can help you out. That's super cool. Fire giant can be tough, but once you know how to take that fight on, it becomes a lot easier. It truly does. I don't think that's going to reach. Yeah. It should. Now let's back up. Get our mana back. Yeah, run at me. No! How many times am I going to do this? How many times? How many times? I'm in pain. So much damn pain. It's fine. Isn't it a staff you don't even need? Yeah, but at this point, it's all about the principle, right? It's all about the principle. We have to... We gotta take it to the guy. We gotta... We gotta show him... Show him that we're better than him. Now, let me tell you, I'm not feeling very confident about that still. I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna die, so... We got that going on for me, I guess. No, this lightning spell is very fun to use. Alright, we're gonna play this one ultra safe. It's about sending a message. Yeah, you get it. It's about sending a message. Blank even? Ow. Jerk. This jerk. Hey, we got him. Message has been sent. So yeah, that's where you get Azura's Glintstone staff, you know, if you want that. If you don't know what that staff does, then uh, let's show you. It uses more FP to do it, but it says here, reduces casting time of all sorceries, but consumes additional FP. Uh, I don't know exactly how much FP additional it does consume, but it does uh, help out get your casts out there a lot faster. 
So if you're using uh, heavy spells, specifically heavy sorceries that use very long casting times, like Comet Azor, for example, that could be a friend. That could be a friend. You show the map? Yeah, we're just in the uh, academy in Lyernia. 22% more? There you go. Agravy has you. Message has been sent, by the way. Now that that's done, uh, let's go talk to Renala. Renala needs to be spoken to. Hello from Portugal. Hello from the U.S., perp. Thanks for joining us. All right. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Hope you're doing well, too. How many incantations do I have uh, on me? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on me at the moment. Total, I could not tell you. Let's go talk to the manager. I'm not sure how this is going to go, to be honest with you guys. I'm really not sure. But, uh, you know, wish me luck and all that. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy. Max is seven. No, Max is ten. Oh, hey, let's talk about this real quick, by the way. Let's talk about this scene right here. Imagine you're exploring this, like, a seemingly abandoned school, college, university, academy, whatever it is. Imagine you walk into, like, this, this grand library, and all of a sudden, this kid with uh, these long robes and candles crawls up to you and tries to bite your toes. What do you do about that? Hush, little Calver. What does one do? I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. Ken, maybe the five spot. I don't know if I'm exceptionally bad at this game or the guys online are exceptionally good. I think it's a matter of perspective. A lot of people will view certain things on the internet in an uh, unfair manner. I'll put it like this. And this applies in this regard as well. Comparison is the thief of joy, man. As long as you're having a good time playing the video game, that's what it's all about, baby. That's what it's all about. Keep having a good time doing your thing, man. I think I hear him over here. Yes. Hey, you're the five spot, Ken. I don't get to two phase it, I am depressed. I hear it over here. One and only with a two dollar super chat as well. No words, no no message, just the generosity. Thank you, man. Thank you very much.
Yeah, comparison is the thief of joy. Of, of joy. Just have a good time doing your thing, man. It's too easy to compare yourself in skill, in time spent, in virtually any aspect of life. Even, even when it comes down to like physical heights or ah, weights, you know? My beloved, have no fear. I will hold thee. <laughs> Matt with the two spots. Karen says this is the worst library I've ever seen. Forever and ever. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Also, guys, as always, make sure you leave a like on the stream. Helps YouTube with discoverability. A lot of you guys found us now because other people like even leaving likes on the stream. So if you are having a good time here, make sure you uh, spread the love. Hit that like button and, of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy single-player video game action. It's what we do all the time. I stream extremely often, and there's all sorts of games that I'm looking forward to, and I'll be streaming live on my channel. Think of everything from like Hogwarts Legacy to Scorn to Resident Evil to Callisto Queen Protocol to Dead Space, of the fool. God of War Ragnarok. All of that stuff will be here on my channel. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. Hey, Micro, what's up? That was worth it. I'm not buying what you're selling, big guy. Go away. Ah, doggos. Ah yes, the Bloodhound Knights. Ah yes, the Big Moon. All right. I failed my roll. I didn't think it was actually going to explode there, so I was just kind of biding my time. And then it exploded. And now I'm sad inside. And now I'm sad inside. I'm doing well, Ahmed. How are you? Hey, Granny Jan. Great to see you. Have you seen the Elden Ring random mod? I have. The randomizers? Yep. Seen a bit of it. It's hysterical. You have bosses roaming around the open world and bosses will be replaced with a slug or a foot soldier. Yeah. Uh, I might do a random, like, enemy randomizer mod playthrough at some point in the future. It does look like a good time. Hope you're doing well, Jan. Hey, Thomas. What's going on, dude? Adam, good to see you as well. It is, Richard, yep. Ranala Phase 2 is Ronnie's projection of her mother in her prime. True. True. Nice, Zionus. That's cool, man. I'm doing well, Metamala. How are you? Turn on that. Catch Flame doesn't do a whole lot of damage against her unfortunately but 
It's our best bet to do as much damage with FP as we can. I'm not hearing it. There you are. Stamina, man. Do I play controller or keyboard? I use a controller. I'm on a PS5 right now, Rody. I do play on all platforms, but uh, the only time I use keyboard and mouse is if I'm playing something like Escape from Tarkov. If I'm playing a shooter, I prefer uh, My keyboard and mouse. Have no fear. All right, let's go. I didn't want to do that yet. I'm very low on mana. I don't know that I have the mana to do this. Unfortunately, I don't think I have the mana for this. I thought I was out of range. It turns out it was not. Hey, Sarita. Hope you're having a great Sunday as well. Oh, come on. Come here. Uh, this is going to be pretty close, I think, guys. Um, never mind. She did spinning weapon back to back. Feels bad. Feels bad. Uh, Sidush, if you're level 13 fighting Margit, I would recommend going around leveling up a little more if you're having difficulty. Uh, he's certainly something you can take down at level 13, but I would suggest taking that to the next level and, uh, get it, get, I would say get it to at least 30. 30 to 40 is the recommended window of fighting Margit. Uh, what was I going to do? 
Let me put something on here. Let's get some more healing on there, and then... Uh, flask. I need to allocate another... Another mana flask here. But I would say go around, explore more of the Limgrave region. Because it... The way, the way, uh, the game allows you to level up, I mean, Margit is right here, right? The Margit the Felomen is right here. All of these, uh, Sites of Grace are essentially something major in the game, outside of a couple of them. So you can go all these places that you can see on my map here and just kind of level up. Do these dungeons, fight the bosses, clear out the enemies, get all the items, all that stuff. By the time you're done clearing all that out, you'll be, you'll be, uh, right around 35 to level 40, depending on how much time you spend doing that. 30 to 40? Yes, Connor. Yeah. If you explore everything properly and do all the dungeons and whatnot, yes. Do all that you're about level 45 not true at all <laughs> i cleared it out with minimal deaths and i was level 31. so you're usually between 30 to 40 depending on how many attempts it takes you but 45 i think is pushing it finish godskin duo where do i go next uh keep exploring farm azula there's a couple other bosses there thousands do i have we got green turtle and radagon icon First time was tough? No doubt, no doubt. My first time fighting Margaret was tough too. It actually took me a couple hours. I'm not naturally good at games like this. <laughs> it takes a lot of uh, time and effort and practice to get where I am with the game now and I still make stupid mistakes. My God. Ah, he's over this way. Somewhere. I hear you. Okay, uh, I just ate the whole library worth of books. Rotten Breath count as an incantation? Yes. Dragon Communions... Dragon Communion magic is incantations. They are arcane and faith-based. Come here. Well, that was the longest cast ever, wasn't it?
All right, come this way, doggos. All right, she's about half health. We got two mana left over. We're good. I gotta go. I don't really feel the whole dragon thing, you know? Dude, why can't we summon giants and dragons, you know? Why can't we do that? So many freaking missiles, man. I just had to put in so much effort to hit that one hit, by the way. So much effort. Come here. I just want to hit you with the catch flame. It's all I want out of my life right now. Come here. Oh, that should be illegal. Almost done. Go stamina regen. Okay, come here. Very nice. All right. All right, we did it. Where did he flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence. And now she's going back to talking about her whatever that is in her arms. Be not alarmed. Not A larval tear or something. What's up, Sabin? Does the death incantation and lightning spear not work here? Uh, death incantation? I don't have a death incantation. Unless you're talking about black flame. Uh, they do work here. It's just I want to make sure that I get her very low health before I start using mana on heavier spells. If I tried to use, like, any uh, something other than catch flame there, then I would have run out of mana. Catch flame does good damage, even with her resistances. Uh, despite its, uh, range and all that, you know? You know? All right. You have black flame. That's a death incantation. I, I mean, I guess I don't think about, uh, I don't think about it like that though. Cause they, they're very different than death sorceries, death sorceries and black flame incantations aren't really the same thing by any means. Um, uh, the black, it's the black flame more than it is death. Yeah, they are, they are not the same. It's not death itself. Uh, okay, now we're done here. Let's go do this right up here. Magma Worm Makar was talking smack about your moms. So we're going to go set the record straight, okay? 
Yeah, not not to get full on like nerd on you, but they are different. It is not. It's not death. It is straight up just black flame. Death blights and death and black flame are easy to confuse, but they are not the same. What's the best room farming spot? Just got rivers of blood, but need more arcane. Uh, I would probably say the blood palace. You go in the blood palace. There's a site of grace right next to a bunch of albinorix that you can farm very easily. Kind of the same. Uh, I mean, yes and no. Good night, Bartek. Good nights. I should probably spend my runes as well. Black Flame is better scaling with a talisman, though. But with my, uh, yeah, with my seal, absolutely. But that doesn't mean that it matches well with the FP cost. You got to remember, when you're working with limited FP, you have to do what uh, gets you the most damage. And blah, the Black Flame would not do enough damage there for me. Not to mention the actual cast time. Okay, we have enough arcane to throw on Dragon's Maw. Let's do it. Thanks, Dalal. Uh, memorize spell. Let's throw uh, this off. Let's throw that on. 46 FP cost on this, so we're only going to use that if I need to do heavy damage on something immediately. My god, that's expensive. My god. Could you use Ash of War, Flame of the Red Mains? Uh, the only Ash of War I'm allowed to use on this playthrough is Parry. It is expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive, but it is a damn cool incantation. It is damn cool. Guys, thank you for 620 likes on the stream. Holy! I'm glad so many of you guys are enjoying the stream so much to do that. It means a lot. Thank you so much. So get rock sling. I think it's really fun just to throw rocks. Oh yeah, yeah. Stone of Garonk is gonna be a good time. I need one more death root for that, and we're uh, actually heading up that way soon. So that's one that will be on me for a good while. I really enjoy that incantation. It's just it's hilarious because you can chain cast it, so you're just throwing throwing rocks like crazy. Hey, you know what? You earned it. I ate land act octopus. Nice. Nice. I'm not sorry. Oh, you know what we probably should do is try to level up my seal as well. Uh, maybe we do that after this whole area here. We level up the seal. I could probably do that. Needs to gain 3 FP on Kill Amulet. I did a sorcery playthrough without it. I'm pretty sure I can do this without it, too. This part of the game gets a little bit tighter on FP, but it'll open up more later when our damage scales up and whatnot. Stop it, man. Stop it, man. 
We're at the we're at the mid game where FP to damage ratio gets a little bit awkward, so we need to make sure that we're very on top of leveling up everything that we can. Goodbye! You just did a hyper beam versus a level one Rattata. <laughs> Pretty much Spark, yeah. How was my tentacle spaghetti? Not a fan, dude. Not a fan. It's kind of gross. Oh, come on, just hit him. Do, 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 do. Oh, all right, that's fine. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Try to turn on the nightlight so people can see a little bit better. Not that it's super dark in here, but... Oh my god, there's another one. Hey. Ooh. I didn't even see him throw it out again. My bad. My bad. Didn't know I was a rapper, nor did I. Today, today we learned, I guess. Yeah, I know of the stone by the stairs, the uh, somber stone there. Yeah, unfortunately, I got bleeded, hemorrhaged. What do my hours look like on Elden Ring? On this character specifically, we are ten and a half hours in. In total, we're talking like 700 hours. <laughs> I've played this game far too much, but I enjoy it a lot, so it's, good. it's a good time. I'm happy about it. Forgot the name of the bigger catch flame. Are you routing to that? No, I tried it out earlier in the game and it's it's cast time doesn't justify the damage. You can charge it, but at that range, if you're charging it, it just feels awkward. And what you're thinking about is O flame. It does all right, but it costs 16 FP versus catch flames like 10 and catch flame does more damage in three casts, which is still two less mana than two O flames does unless you're charging them. And at point blank range, charging is just kind of a bad idea. What do you think of Demon's Souls? Demon's Souls is a good game. It's a good game. I basically I'm at I can fairly say if it's a from software game, I enjoy it. I've not played any games from them that I haven't enjoyed. You saw Karen's face for the first time? Well, do you want to see it for the second time? What do you think? What do you think? Thoughts? Penny for your thoughts. Thinking of starting Sekiro, any recommendations? Um, focus on learning the rhythm of each individual fight. Once you get the rhythm down, the game gets a lot simpler. Every enemy in the game essentially has a rhythm. Once you figure that rhythm out, it becomes a lot easier.
rude, man. Grab those guys. Thank you. Let's grab this. Oh, wow. That's 20k runes, man. Oh, juice. I need the blue juice, man. Okay. Wish we can get the these guys lanterns. I kind of wish we can get their weapons in the fashion that they are. I would love the idea of a... It looks like one of them has like a hook and then a club head or like a flail head, but on a chain. It reminds me of like a kunai and chain type idea. I wish we can get something like that. Also, think of the uh, the Grave Warden Duelist, how they have the axes with the, uh, the, the ball and chain on the other side of it. I wish we could have that, dude. That would be awesome. I would legitimately try those weapons out for a full playthrough if we could. That would be sick. Oh, really? 299? Man, this is a full 300. I missed it by one damage. I'm depressed. Uh, let's lighten them. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel about that. Also, I'm pretty sure there's an item down here. Yes. Yeah, they do drop the weapons, yeah. And honestly, their uh, their saw cleaver that they have there, like the, the saw on the very long pole, is actually really good. Uh, a lot of people sleep on that weapon, but it is legitimately good. Especially if you want a, a low stat weapon that applies bleed quickly. That's a good one for you. Definitely does a great job at that. Oh, hey there, dude. You guys like my singing voice? If you are curious, yes, you can interrupt that poison sling that they have there, as you can see. Very good. Very good. Cyclones, thank you for the $5 super chat. Josh is a rapper. Oh boy, he gives us the feed. Don't call him a capper because he gives us what we need. Damn. Damn, Cyclones, that's good. Damn. <laughs> You're the five spot, dude. I appreciate it. It's very kind. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Quiet time. I always miss that one, man. You think getting Dark Souls is a better idea than getting Dark Souls 3? I think they're all good games, Flame. I don't think there's a wrong way to go about that. I mean, Dark Souls 3 is going to be a lot more polished for you. No doubt about that. But overall, still a so good game.
Okay, here's another weapon over here that a lot of people do not realize is here. You can come up here. You can fight all these land octopuses or not. You can skip them too. Um, they're easy to kill with fire, so I'm going to kill them. But yeah, there's a, a very special curved sword behind this where it actually heals you. It actually does heal you. Serpent God's Curved Sword. As you can see right here, where is it? Right there. Curved sword fashioned in the image of an ancient serpent deity and tool of a forgotten religion practiced on Mount Gelmir. Formerly used to offer up sacrifices, this sword restores HP upon slaying an enemy. So uh, whenever you kill an enemy, you, you get healed. Uh, it, it's, it's not a lot of healing. But if you are someone that's just kind of prone to going full on slash happy, it's a solid little bet. It's a solid little bet, man. Especially, you can't find two in one playthrough, but if you can get someone else to drop one for you and you dual wield them, you can do the uh, the curved sword, the dual wielding curved sword moveset with it, and it's actually really hot. Oh my god, the dual damages! Oh, you, you, you're you not within range all of a sudden? There you go. Huh. Oh, that should be illegal. How that just happened was unfair, man. There you go, my god. I barely had enough mana to get through this section of the game. Oof. Hey, Brittany, what's up? Do you ever co-op with lo poor lowly souls who can't beat the fire giant asking for a friend? I generally don't. However, I can offer you some very sound advice that has helped out dozens of people already. The fire giant can be made a lot simpler if you, uh, if you go, about the, go about it the same way I do. A lot of people, specifically during the phase two of the fire giant, will try to go after the hands. That is a very bad idea. Do not go for the hands. What you want to do is during phase one, go after the giant's left leg, the one with the uh, the cast, the, the 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 red braid cast around it, and just keep hitting that leg until phase two happens. And when phase two comes up, when it's at half health, uh, you'll find a very big window where you can just hop on the horse and immediately ride underneath the fire giant and then tickle its toes with whatever weapon you have. Just keep spamming damage on its toes until it rolls away. Obviously avoid the fire when it does like the fire AOE attack on the ground, right? But from there what you want to do is just keep hitting its feet. And it's one foot. It only has one foot during phase two. So keep hitting that foot. And then from there... It actually dies really easily because you're behind it. Most of its attacks don't even go near you. It's very, very, very easy from that point on. Am I dead? I am dead. Pain. It's just a bot, dead blade. Just ignore it, man. What's up, Aaron? How's it going? First timers? Yeah, not a bad thing. Okay, 
That does terrible damage. Noted. Dude, he's out of range. Come on. I'm in pain. I'm out of juice. Oh my god. He's kicking my ass. So yeah, Brittany, if you kind of go after its foot specifically during the second phase, stay behind it and keep hitting the sole of its foot, specifically the bottom side, it'll make the fight a lot simpler. It's tough, but once you get the flow down, it makes that fight a lot easier. Cece, thank you for five months at tier two. Hello, it's been a while, but I will always return. How are we doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Thank you so much, CC, for tier two membership at five months. That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Why do you do that out of nowhere, man? That should be illegal. Here does nothing, dude. Oh, that's so funny. Oof. That's painful, dude. Someone gotta get this some Pepto Bismol or something. I am running. I hate that that still hit me. Ah. I'm messing this fight up really bad. Exhibit A, messing up really bad. But it's fine. But it's fine. Yeah, incantations for the most part don't do so well against magma worms because they're resistances. It'll be a little bit better later on when I can do like frozen lightning and stuff like that, but I haven't gone underground to grab that yet. I really should soon. Eldering is so, so easier than Dark Souls. That's why you are doing this. 
You can do magic only in the other games too, Montana, if you know what you're doing. Like that that's a weird thing to say. Yeah, maybe so, Minor Morris. Maybe so. <laughs> He's on to me. I wanted to I wanted you on the edge of your seat, you know? Let's grab this. Black flame blade is out of the question. Yeah, no black flame blade. Well, Josh, it worked. Hey, hey. Okay, there's a thing that I need to do down here. Let's go do that. I forgot about that. What enemy did you get the robe you're wearing from? One of the... Uh, one of the guys at the academy, the guys with the swords and bucklers. It's that it's their robe. Yeah, see, typical gets it. Yeah. Like my voice. Thank you. Need some runes? Nah, I'm good, man. Thank you, though. There's a very specific Hyetta at this building over here that is asking for a Shabriri grape. We're going to give that to her. What level am I? Currently, we are 53. There she is. Everyone say hi to Hyetta. Everyone wave hello. Have you ever heard of fingerprint grapes? Yeah. They're special grapes. I've got one in my pocket. Those who've been clasped by the burnt fingers. Yeah. I would truly love to try one. That I can't sense a thing from the usual grapes anymore. Oh, that's unfortunate. Please, without one. Well, luckily for you, I took out uh, fingerprint Vike and then his eyeballs. So. Oh, a finger Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Blessing. Thank you. I'm sure I'll be a finger maiden. Yep. Cool. Cool. V Commander Nile, almost done with Elden Ring. Three bosses left. Very cool. Typical. Very cool. Okay, now that we did that, I think it is time. Um. Hmm. 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 I think we're gonna go Kaylid. Let's go do Kaylid things. Are you guys down for Kaelid Adventures? Are you guys down for Kaelid Adventures? Yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to do, before I do head on over to Kaelid, before we go to Kaelid, I am going to take a quick break, go use the restroom. I have to pee, so I'm going to do that. When I come back, we're going to go to Kaelid, and we're going to get ready for, you know, all the dungeons and all that stuff. We're going to get the other half, the Dectus Lift Medallion. We're going to fight Radon, all that goodness. So don't go anywhere. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future streams and videos as well. And of course, make sure you leave a like on the, on the video here. Leave a like on the stream. Whether you're watching this live or the video later on, by the way, all of my streams become videos when I'm done. So if you miss them, that's okay. You can catch it later. Make sure you leave a like. I'll be right back, guys.
All right, dudes, we're back. Let's go do Kalid things. What's up, Alpha Hydronoid? How's it going? And dragons? Yeah, I actually do need to take out uh, the big dragon here. The large dragon is named Grail, and she has an incantation called Grail's Roar, which actually does really great AoE damage. What's up, Dustin? Where do I get the Blood Flies incantation, guys? Swarm of Flies, wherever, whatever it's called. Where do I get that? I can't remember. I am, Sean, yeah. It's depression right there. Oh, Mog's Palace. Yes. Well, there's a couple ways to get there. One of them is a little bit... Meh. One's via Consecrated Snowfields. Hmm. Not sure how I'm... So the big thing with a swarm of flies is... It's one of the few things that apply bleed as far as incantations go. I'll definitely have it for Melania, but... Getting it earlier would be great. My day is all right, Dustin. How are you, man? beating the pure magic run already <laughs> yeah remedy we did it took us what uh eight or nine streams not bad are you gonna wrong warp to get to azula to get rag red dragon lightning early no i don't really do any wrong warping stuff spark no i'll just progress through the game normally uh using you know what makes sense to me at the time in fact, uh, we could probably do this fight down here. Oh, that's a far farther drop than I thought. Yeah, we could go via Vare. That is a potential thing. But I, I just fear PvPing with this build is going to be a nightmare. Like, PvPing with what I have going on is going to be freaking awful. Oh, there's so many of you. I wish there wasn't. three matches and Vare is still like good job yeah it just if I PvP I want to try to do at least a little bit well but using nothing with incantations and PvP is an actual freaking nightmare so oh well
Okay, if you're curious if Catch Flame does well against the trees, the answer is yeah, it absolutely freaking wrecks them. <laughs> oh god, if that does so much damage. So much damage. My god. Is a summons only run possible? As long as you uh, include healing your summons in there? Yeah, absolutely. Where did tree go? Tree gone. There is a dungeon down there too, but we can do that sometime. Guess wood hates fire. Yep. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought this whole time? How do you heal your summons? Uh, a lot of the heal spells in the game are AOE. Hey, come on. Hey. There's a whirl though, flame. What's going on, right, Sayonda? How are you doing? Yeah, who'd have thunk it, man? One thing I don't like about this game is that you can you only get to pick one weapon for the whole game. No, that's not true. That's not true at all, man. You can uh like depending on your build, like you can actually couple like katanas with curved swords a lot of the times, for example. And that generally means you have you have a couple weapons, uh, a couple dozen weapons to choose from already at that point. It just it's like Granted that you probably won't be able to wield like heavy weapons like colossal swords and axes and stuff like that because they generally require more strength and dexterity, but you can definitely use more than one weapon in a playthrough. Not to mention you can respec. Take a bite out of him, man. That's good fun for everyone. Well, except, except that guy, I guess. That's not good for him, right? That's not good fun for him. But for the rest of us, it's cool. For the rest of us, it's awesome. What was my first gaming system? Uh, Nintendo. The original NES. Stop bullying all the dudes. Not cool. Listen, man. If I didn't bully them, they'd be bullying me. You dig? Javier, what's up? How old am I now? I am 34.
do 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 Picking on the person who said only one weapon? Oh. I wasn't picking on him. What's up, Ghost Assassin? How you doing? Greetings from Germany, Artorius. Welcome. Hello. Not you. Oh, chat. Oh. Yeah, you guys, stop picking on people. Come on. Come on, man! Listen, I'm here taking the blame for you, okay? Listen. <laughs> Pumpkin Mans, what's up, dude? How's it going? Darwish, a little bit of life advice, man. Treat others with respect if you want to be respected, you dig? I know it's very cliche, but if you don't have nothing nice to say, then saying nothing is a better choice. People will like you more that way. Zach, thank you for the $2 super chat. Dragon Maw Perry was pretty damn cool. Hell yeah. Thanks for the two spots, Zach. Thank you very much. What's up, Sophie? How's it going today? I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, Abdul. That's awesome. I'm doing well, Pumpkin. Hanging out, playing uh, Elden Ring. Chatting with a lot of cool people from all over the world. Having a good time. I need to go get my third talisman slot, by the way. Someone remind me after this to go to the round table hold. I've got a few things I gotta take care of. Still hit me? Tragic. Ah. Wrong one. Listen, man, it's not working. I don't know why you keep spamming that spell. It's not working. What's up, Self Decay? Marie Guadamas, welcome back. Two days in a row? Heck yeah. My son is playing Demon Souls now, and so the journey begins. Very cool, man. Very cool. Love to hear it. Okay, now that we got this, I'm going to... Oh, you know what we could do? I'm going to try this and see how this goes. This could be a bit of a riskier play at this point in the game. But I want to see if we can defeat this uh, Erdtree Avatar to the east here. And if we can, that could be some very good runage for us. Round table. Yes. Thank you for the reminder. Oh, my God. I already forgot. You see that? You see that? Thank you, guys. What would I do without you? I've decided I'm off in search. We may not if there's any. All right. Is there any incantations here that I need? Uh, Sergio Flame is terrible. God awful. Let's get honed bolts. That could be good. That could be good. The rest of them we don't really need. I close with a $5 super chat. Chat, you know what's cool? The like button. If you're feeling spicy, give your free once a day like to Josh. Hey, thanks, Tyclones. Hey, thanks, dude, for the five spot and the reminder on the like button. I appreciate it. Thank you kindly. Oh my god, we have exactly enough. Oh my god. Okay, our scaling just got a lot better. I should have done that so much so much earlier. I do need to level up the dragon communion seal, I think, as well at some point, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Oh, 
Um, 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 um. Then Owen, I think you the power. I serve that I might Let me see your incantations as well. So it. Litany of proper death requires 17 intelligence and orders blade, which is useless to us. I don't know if I want to put 17 intelligence on. So maybe we'll buy that just to have for later, just so I don't miss the opportunity. But I mean, we do get his bell bearing later anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, what else are they going to do? Oh, talisman. Talisman. Matt with a $2 super chat. Wait, likes are free? What a deal. They are. They're free 99. You have now to become the thing as Make it a two spot, Matt. I appreciate it. Um. Yeah, nothing there. Now, what should we put here? I mean, raises faith seems good. Let's just go with that. A little bit extra damage for now. That seems good. Uh, okay, I think I've gotten everything that I want to get here. So, back to Kaelid. Let's go do this dungeon right down here. Thank you again, Matt. And Ken with the $5 super chat as well. Does the girl's dialogue near the blacksmith about sounds from the other room mean anything? The girl's dialogue near the blacksmith about sounds from the other room mean anything. Uh, she is talking specifically in that moment about, um, what's his face? Uh, the dung eater. And he's talking, or she's talking about the dung eater in that moment. Oh, hold on. Before, I forgot I wanted to go do this first. She's talking about the dung eater specifically. And the Dung Eater's lore is he's a rather disgusting creature. And because of the way he defiles things and whatnot, not to mention the noises he makes on his own, or what she talks about there. He's an asshole. Let me, I'm going to offer you this perspective. I'm going to offer you this perspective. So we all know about the Fell Curse, or the Fell Omen, right? What the Dung Eater is trying to do... Because the fell curse or fell omen used to be viewed at one point in this game's history as a blessing, it was considered a blessing at one time in the lore, in the history of this game, uh, what the Dung Eater is trying to do is make everyone have that, and the way he applies that to everyone is via defiling their corpse so they're reborn with the curse later. Now, while his methods are devious and disgusting, on the other hand, Bringing everyone to that level will make everyone's vision of the curse change. That's what his ending is all about. It's making everyone become a fell. Everyone gets that curse or that omen that was once a blessing. And so everyone is on the same page and everyone is viewed as equal at that point. Just a little bit of a different perspective for it. It's still gross while he goes about it, but... There is value behind it at the end of the day, oddly enough. What's up, Mamba Man? How's it going today? Okay, we have that. Now let's go do the uh, the tower here. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's up the hill. 
Let's hop up here. Now that we got those runes. Killing that tree right there gives you 91,000 runes, which is ridiculous. The trees are not uh, the most difficult enemy. Granted, those ones can hurt a lot if they do hit you, but... Oh, wait, this is the wrong thing. Where is this... Oh, it's over there. It's over there. Let's travel here and just go down the road. I don't know why I thought it was that one, but it's further east. It's further east. Yeah, Bri, exactly. It's it's kind of interesting. And yeah, like Kevin said, uh, the Omen Curse isn't even a bad thing. The problem is the spirits are suffering. Rodrika says they are scared of him. Yeah, yeah. And rightfully so. I mean, Dung Eater is a bit of a scary individual. It's just, uh, it's interesting that his, uh, his motivation behind his method is good. It's just the way he goes about it is bad. Very bad. He just wants everyone to be viewed as equal. But he really should find a better way to go about it somehow. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. What's up, Kribo? How's it going? Gilgamesh, good to see you. Hello, Greybeard. How's it going, guys? Assassin Talisman? Uh, are we talking the Crimson Dagger one right here? Assassin's Crimson Dagger or Cerulean Dagger? Crimson Dagger, I know that you get from... I can show you. You get from this dungeon right here. Right? It's either... A, no, maybe it's not that one. It might be this one over here. It might be Stormfoot Catacombs. Either way, you can get it very early on in the game. As far as Cerulean, I can't remember. If I'm being honest. Thanks, Grebo. I appreciate that. Yeah, Kevin, he does view it as bad, but only because he's viewed as bad for having the curse himself. Yeah, it's like trying to spread that same negativity to others because he's suffering of it as well. I'm not sure how many runes this gives, but let's figure it out together, you and me. Yeah, they didn't give him very, very many runes at all. Terrible. Okay, that's done. Now we can go... do this dungeon that I wanted to do. Let's do it. Yeah, Barge, I did that very early in the game. <laughs> Let's figure it out. Together! Okay, I want to hit this dungeon right here. Let's do it. We gotta go all the way around. We can drop right here safely. Oh, you know what? Uh, there's a... There's a weapon here. I'll show you guys. There's also a bird here. I should have spent my runes. You should voice Rykard. <laughs> Together! Sword of St. Trina. For when you really want your enemies to go to sleep.
Pumpkin Mans. Becoming a member at tier two. Damn, dude. Thanks. That's awesome. Thank you for supporting my channel in that way. That's very nice of you. Thank you, man. Hope you enjoy the emotes you can now use in chat as well as my videos comment sections. Thank you for supporting my channel in that way. That's huge. Is Gale in this game or Dark Souls 3? He's in Dark Souls 3. This is Gale Tunnel, though. Thanks, Mark. Welcome back, Micro. Looks almost exactly like a plastic toy sword I had as a kid. Maybe that's what they modeled it after all, all this time. Okay, um... Uh, Give me a hot second. I need to look this up. See what the minimum arcane is for dragon communion spells. I need to look up the very minimum for whatever ones I want to use. Borealis Mist is 15. Dragon Ice is 12. 16, 15, 12. These are all very low arcane, so I think we're already good. 17 for Grail's Roar, so I guess we'll level up to 17. But the rest are below 17. That's awesome. We're, all, we're already pretty much set. Very good. Very good. Let me just uh, make that 17, and we're good to go on that. Never have to worry about Arcane again. Sweet. Sweet. Love to see that. Oh, that gap. Please stop swinging your weapon at me. That hurts a lot. There you go, sirs. Those are all for you. You're welcome. You are welcome. What's my favorite game? So, I like a lot of different games, eh, but it really, I'm a very mood based gamer. I got to be in the mood for something in order to play it. So, uh, like, generally speaking, I default to Mass Effect. I love Mass Effect. Absolutely incredible franchise, but it's not a game that I could also play endlessly, you know? I can give you a few of my favorite franchises to give you an idea of the type of game that I like to play, though. Think of Mass Effect, Dragon Age, specifically Origins, uh, Dead Space, Bioshock. I'm also a massive fan of Stalker. Oh no! Well, that sucked. I'm also a massive fan of Stalker. And because I'm such a big fan of Stalker, I also heavily enjoy Escape from Tarkov. One of my favorites, uh, like, dynamic is how similar that is to Stalker. Love that. Favorite Mass Effect? Uh, mostly two, but I, I wish that two held on to more straight-up RPG aspects of one. But the thing that makes two such an incredible game is that you actually connect with your crew in a major way. Which makes it very enjoyable to me. That and for the time, it was graphically astounding. Graphically, it was absolutely incredible at the time. Just amazing. I mean, shit.
shit, it even holds up pretty well today. But I just wish it held on to more RPG aspects from the first game. That would have been tight. By the way, I love it, though. Uh, I do enjoy The Witcher. The The Witcher franchise is excellent, specifically The Witcher 3, obviously. Um, big fan of The Elder Scrolls, specifically... Specifically Morrowind, in this regard. I mentioned Morrowind because Morrowind is something that... Let me explain after I kill this guy. I enjoy Morrowind specifically because it's um it's a lot more think of how Elden Ring doesn't have a journal per se and it just kind of you learn a lot about the game through dialogue and via reading the lore on weapons and stuff Morrowind is a lot like that and I enjoy that I, I enjoy reading and taking in details via that I enjoy hitting up dialogue and learning what I have to do via dialogue think of in Morrowind uh there's there's moments where you have to figure out where to go for a side quest based on the description that is given to you via dialogue. I love that. I adore that. I think that's so awesome. You don't you don't just you don't get like a, a marker like you do in say Skyrim or Oblivion. It just says, hey, uh, my grandson went missing. He went picking blueberries by a bear cave or by a cave where bears were sighted recently. He's been gone for a whole day now. Could you f please go find him? He went to the cave to the northwest. And so you go northwest until you find a cave and then you got to look around for bears and shit. Stop saying via dialogue. No, I'm good, multi-giant. I'm talking to you right now via dialogue. You good, dog? You good? Stop having the name multi-giant. If we're making demands of, like, nonsensical demands of each other. <laughs> Go change your name. I don't like it. I enjoy Legend of Zelda, yeah. Do you see other people walking around in this game? You can, newbie fang, if you are connected to the online network. You can kind of see, like, how people die and stuff like that. I prefer single giants. Yeah, me too, man. Me too, man. Kind of like in Gothic. Yeah, Gothic is another great example of that. move so
I just, uh, I just ate a magma worm. Nice. Very good. Have I played the Witcher series? Yeah. I enjoy the Witcher series, specifically the third one. Uh, the, the thing about uh, the third one, though, is there is so much side stuff in that game that it kind of got tedious. With Elden Ring specifically being so well viewed, I hope a lot of future RPGs kind of take note that people enjoy doing side stuff, but it needs to have more meaning. We can't have side quests just to have side quests. We need to have side quests that integrate with the main story more. You can't just say, hey, go get this stick down the road from a well that has my wife's ring on it that died 13 years ago in a tragic accident against a spirit. The, the stick is haunted, by the way. Granted, I know he's a witcher. The whole idea of a witcher is to hunt down monsters and spirits and stuff. I get it. But there needs to have there needs to be more value. There needs to be more main story value to it. That's all. Give us less side quests with more value instead of filler stuff. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, go do the dungeon down here, shall we? You only played it for the Triss ending? <laughs> hey, everyone's got a type, man. It's fine. Guys, thank you for 800 likes on the stream, by the way. That puts us in range of 1,000 likes on the stream again today. So if you're having a good time, make sure you hit that like button. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 on the gun stream again. The support is surreal. Uh, this is going to hurt. I might be dead. Never mind. Everything's good. Inquisition suffered from that. Quantity over quality. Yeah. It definitely did. Not directly, Jimbus. You can find, like, what they're doing in their own worlds via phantoms, but you don't actually interact with them at all. How'd Melania go with sorcery? Took us less than 10 tries. Hard to turn to blood wine, blood and wine, man. It's one of the better expansions we've seen in a video game in a very long time, actually. I'm going to take you for your first playthrough. My first playthrough was extremely thorough, and um, I made sure I did every little bit of everything I could find. So it took me like 120 hours or something like that. <laughs> Tyler, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Ever played Condemned? I want to say I played Condemned on the Xbox 360. I'm pretty sure I did. It sounds familiar. Ah, uh, yes. Despite all your rage, you are still just all rats in cages. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dustin. I appreciate that, man. I'm glad you enjoy what I do. This is the Minecraft 2022 World Championship. You're you're absolutely in the right place. Yes. How about Outlast? Uh, I mean, I've played Outlast, but I didn't enjoy it. I enjoy a good horror game, but man, Outlast just doesn't do it for me. I think I'm more into the suspense side rather than just, like, needless jump scares, I think. 
I, I find jump scares kind of like how I talked about needless side quests without real relevance to the story in other games. I think jump scares for the sake of having jump scares doesn't really do anything for me. I find it nonsensical. I need it to be more thrilling, more suspenseful. A well-placed jump scare in a proper environment goes a lot further than just 12 jump scares in an hour that don't actually do anything for you as far as like quality of gameplay. And that's just what Outlast is to me. It's just nothing but jump scare simulator. And that's just, I don't really, I don't really know why people like that game so much. Give me something more like Dead Space 1 or Alien Isolation or uh, even Bioshock 1 does thrilling and suspense better because you never know when you're going to be jump scared. You know what's going to happen, but you just don't know when. Whereas in Outlast, it's like you can kind of predict it, you know? Resident Evil is good at it, Silent Hill. Like, there's a reason why these games are more popular than just these standard jump scare simulators, right? They actually build a world filled with suspense and thrill that make it when your jump scare does happen, it's exhilarating. And you, 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 you remember that for a very long time. That's what brings quality to that type of uh, video game. And Outlast just doesn't do that to me. So I don't really, I don't really vibe with it. Soma's pretty good. Yeah, Soma does a good job at it. Pretty decent. Which enemies are harder? The big one to the small one? Um, it, kind of a mix, man. Kind of a mix. Mortuary Assistant. I've heard people have been enjoying that recently. I still haven't played Resident Evil 7, but that is something that I kind of want to do around Halloween. You guys down for some horror streams around Halloween? Maybe Resident Evil 7 and 8 before the DLC for 8 comes out? Thoughts? Fashion you're rocking. This is the Lazuli robes from uh, one of the many mages that wield swords and shields in the academy. Num nums, yeah. Num nums. So don't take that as me bashing on uh, Outlast because I know a lot of people do enjoy it and that's fine. It just doesn't. It doesn't really resonate with me and what I like out of like a horror slash suspense type of uh, video game. Did I get platinum? Yeah. I've got the platinum. I've got all the gamer score on Xbox as well. Yes. That the regalia of Yokade? Uh, yes, that was that and it scales with arcane and strength. Or no, is it? I think it's arcane and dexterity for this one. Yeah, mostly arcane and dexterity. Had to has a little bit of strength on there too, but this one specifically is more dexterity, whereas the Mirai's Executioner Sword is more strength oriented. I'm playing on a PS5 right now, so I have a PS5 controller. You ever play Manhunt? I did. Yeah. That game was very edgy for the time. Um, hmm. I need a sight of grace before I fight this dragon. I don't have the mana. So let's hit this. Haunting ground? I don't think I played that, Rikamaru. Elden Ring, the best Souls game you've played? I like it more than Dark Souls, but I like Bloodborne more. As far as, uh... If you're including that in the conversation, I guess I should say. Looking forward to Starfield, as am I, Bri. First journey? No, not at all.
bite my horse's ass. Oh my god, that did big damage to him. What the hell? Holy! Woo-wee! I just bit that dragon's foot off. That's fine. Everything's fine. Yep. Yep. I played the PT demo. I never did enjoy now. No. Never played the Punisher. No. What's my music taste? I'm a metal guy. That was terrible. Oh, wow. My character just did not turn around there. Interesting. Interesting. There we go. One thing I can say that's good about that spell is you can poise through a lot of things with it, so that's good. That's good. My favorite build for Elden Ring? My favorite build that I ever did was, uh, I call it Dragon Warrior. I use Mirai's Executioner Sword and Medium Armor alongside Dragon Communion Incantations. It was a really good time. Uh, let's see. How many hearts do I have? We have four. Hmm. I think we'll do that for now. Want those specifically so we can have those elements for when we need them. Uh, let's go grab the map. The map. Like the God of War franchise, or so what's your favorite? So I'm not really big on the God of War franchise, but I do enjoy the most recent God of War game a lot. I've enjoyed that style of game much more than their previous games. Didn't really like God of War much until then. If you could pick one metal song, what would it be? Pisces by Ginger. You want to talk about talent? That entire band, band oozes talent. Oozes talent. You can't Scarlet Rat Melania? No. No, no, no. Stop biting my horse's ass, man. That's rude. Try Atreyu. I liked them when I was younger, not so much now. After Lead Sales Paper Anchor, they kind of lost their way to me. Don't really like them so much now. We 
Would you play Oblivion? I've played a bunch of Oblivion before. As far as streaming it, I don't think so. Probably not, Horus. Alice in Chains? Yeah, I like Alice in Chains. All right, uh, right, let's see. We do have this dungeon here. We can do that. Well, let me clear these. Let's make a plan, guys. Let's make a plan here. We have Commander O'Neill over here, okay? We have this dungeon here. All right. We have the fort here. We also have the dragon in front of the fort that I actually do need to take out. For Grail's Roar. I don't think we can do that without bleed, though. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to do the damage without bleed. So i got to figure out that. Might not be able to get Grail's Roar until much later in the game because of this. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's go with that plan for now. Those are our next objectives. Let's do it. I played Hollow Knight? Yeah, a little bit, Sean. Yeah. I enjoy it. I never finished it, though. What do you think about Salt and Sanctuary? Those games are good. Salt and Sanctuary and Salt and Sacrifice. Both very good. Do like Trivium? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I still remember the day that I discovered Trivium, actually. Oh, shoot. I need this. Uh, is this the spell or the Ash of War? I'll tell you what. I'm going to go back here. I can't remember if that's the Ash of War or the spell. Poisonous Mist. You can take out the dragon with Black Flame. Can you? Is that what you're talking about, Sophie? Thoughts on Code Vein? I've never played it. Which Bloodborne boss is your favorites? Ah, uh, Bloodborne favorite boss. Man, I don't know. This is just the Ash of War? All right. Shit. There he is. Well, we found it anyway. Okay, so I need to find the actual spell, Poisonous Mist. Where do I find that? I can't believe that missed. Oh my god, dude. That should be illegal. Come here. The switcheroo! The issue with using Dragon's Maw is when the target is smaller, when you go up in the air, they can just walk underneath you. <laughs> uh, but man, favorite boss in... Favorite boss in uh, Bloodborne. That's tough for me. I like a lot of the bosses. I generally go with what challenges me the most and then the way they look. Um, Orphan of Cause is definitely challenging. Not as much so as Melania, but definitely a hard fight all the same. Oh, Weeping Peninsula? Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We'll have to go grab that soon. I forgot that that's back there. Yeah, Rob, she should have stand there and let me bite her with a dragon's maw, man. Come on. <laughs> 
It's going all right, Jason. How are you, man? Man, I don't know. Uh, that, that's a tough question for me. I don't really know. I was out of range. That was a lie. Please don't stab me with your battle standard. Not really interested in being stabbed. Glory, brave knights! You can kill Grey with Black Flame. I've done so before. Alright, we'll try that out. We could try it out. Sophie, thank you for the $2 super chat. I appreciate it. Very nice of you. Thank you. Man, that hurt. Feels bad. What's up, Steve? Thoughts on Chelsea Grin? Don't really like him much too much uh, myself. Not really my thing. I did, Sophie. I appreciate the super chat a lot. Thank you. Oh, you bastard. That guy has so much range with that battle standard. That man really chasing me right now? Oh my god. <laughs> There's so many things hitting me all at once. <laughs> And of course, there's a clean rot knight here. Uh, go away, man. Three fifty five with a heavy cast. And yeah, that's much better. Six forty nine with this on heavy. Boba, think of the two spot. Chilling before a Monday, playing Elden Ring while watching. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks for hanging out with me. Think of the $2 super chat. I rolled that a little late.
All right, there we go. There we are. This run no staff spells. It's purely incantations. The staff spells are sorceries. Incantations are casted using a seal. Okay, that is finished. Let's go north. Is Melania the hardest boss from From Software? I think so, yeah. Some people say Ishin, some say Melania, some say Orphan of Cause. Some even say Gale. I think Melania is the hardest personally. That is true, Kazaki, yeah. That definitely does help there, too. When DLC? My name's not from software. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> no idea, bro. Is she too hard? No. No. At least not for me. I enjoy being challenged, though. I love figuring fights out like that. I embrace stuff like that in a big way. Even if it takes me a long time, I still enjoy it. The gratification of getting through it is massive. Favorite album of all time? That's got to go to Shogun. By Trivium. It just has banger after banger. We're going from like Kurosuit Gomen to Shogun to... Uh, God, what is it? Uh, Scylla and Charybdis. That's the one I'm thinking of. I almost said Charybdis and Scylla, but that's backwards. That album is just absolutely incredible. Have you ever listened to Creed? Uh, I mean, I've heard a few of their songs via the radio, but I'm not really a fan of them. Puddle of Mud? Yeah. Not really into that stuff, though. It's a, That's a much softer than what I generally go for. Like Nine Inch Nails? Yeah, they're alright. Yeah. Hard to not like Nine Inch Nails, really. Visually, your favorite boss is Amygdala and Ludwig? Amygdala's a good one. two casts to take them out with that. That's kind of solid. Tool? Yeah, I love Tool. Tool and a perfect circle both. Very good stuff there for me. Not sure if that's going to reach. It does land, but does not kill. I didn't mean to fall there. Come on down, brother. Ah, why? My man's got sharp feet, apparently. Die clones with a five spot. Ow, I'm in pain. Hold. 
Thank you for the five dollar super chat, die clones. Strongest boss is Jush from the new unconfirmed Elden Ring DLC, the Jush bots in the ring to rule them. Can you imagine being featured as a boss in a video game? That'd be sick. That would be sick. <laughs> Thank you for the five spot, die clones. You like the voices in your head? Hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't blame you. Okay. Obituary? I've not listened to obituary. Amorphous? I've not listened to Amorphous either. Bunny the Bear? Never have. You're more of a red hot chili peppers kind of guy? I can respect it. Can we not with the stabbing? Can we not with the stabbing, please? Thanks. Favorite Elvis Presley song? Don't really have one, man. Not really into Elvis. Avenge Sevenfold? Nah, not really. Kill switch engage? Yeah, I enjoy kill switch. Indeed, Len, for sure. Wrong one. Static X? I haven't listened to Static X in a very long time. Um, used to like him a little bit. I was never big on him, but I, I, I liked him all right. Enjoy Helmet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm on Amarth? Oh, yeah. Lincoln Park? I used to like Lincoln Park quite a bit, yeah. Lincoln Park was actually like the gateway for me into music. When I was, uh, man, I, I was a weird kid. Growing up in fifth grade in school, we went to Philadelphia to go see like the Liberty Bell and Benjamin Franklin's grave and all that stuff. You know, typical American stuff, you know, <laughs> went all the way from southern New York all the way to Philadelphia on a bus. And my mom gave me some money to spend, uh, you know, souvenirs and whatnot. We ended up at a, like a souvenir shop by the by. Uh, the Liberty Bell, like just before going out to see the Liberty Bell. And they had like all these kids were buying like all these stuffed animals and stuff like that. Me, I went to the music section just because I didn't want to buy anything. I was like, I'd rather keep the money and then buy video games back at home later with it. Then I saw the Linkin Park album cover, their first album or their first like, you know, published album. They had like EPs and stuff before, but I went and uh, I saw the album cover. It was uh, for Hybrid Theory. I saw that and it was this guy with like a staff or something and he had like four wings and shit and I thought it was very cool. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. I'm not really a music guy. And it was only fifth grade, you know? It was only fifth grade. So I bought the album and I had my Sony uh, disc thing, uh, disc player, Discman. And I listened to that on the all, all the way home for five hours. I listened to that album like four or five times the whole way through on the way home. And I fell in love with it. Yeah, old Skippy, yep. Old Skippy Discman. So I fell in love with that with that album. And then therefore music. 
A classic Sony disc thing. You know? Listen to Arctic Monkeys? Yeah, no, not really big on them. Um, but yeah. So that, that was kind of like my gateway into music. That album was incredible. All right, let's test to see if we can actually take this dragon out using black flame. Let's see. I'm going to have to allocate all my flaps over to this just so we have it. Let's try. That's not hitting it there. That hits it there. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna work out. Lamb of God? Oh yeah, I like Lamb of God. Nice, Bennis. Congrats, man. Congrats, dude. It's gonna take a minute? Yeah, it's alright, though. I need uh, the incantation. Grail's Roar. I guess I don't need it, but it's an incantation and I want it. Like ACDC? No. <laughs> I know this might be a hot take, but I, I think everything from ACDC sounds the same. Not really into them. Aren't there bleeding incantations? Yeah, but not until later on in the game. Favorite Rick Astley song. Never gonna give, never gonna give, give you up. Do you like Tool? Oh yeah. Dream Theater? Yeah. Avenged Sevenfold? Nah. Yeah, Black, Black Flame works very well here. Very, very well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't even think about the runes that we get from that. How many runes did we get from that? I should have used a, a foul foot, man. I didn't even think. Yeah, whatever. I was so stuck on the idea of getting the incantation that I forgot about the runes. System of a down? I enjoy System of a down. Whitechapel? No, not so much. Led Zeppelin? Not so much. Man of War? Yeah, they're all right. Biggest pet peeve? Probably just people that don't chew with their mouth closed. That, that always bothers me. Redo my flask. Oh, true. True. Nirvana? No. Uh, I used to like Nirvana a little bit, and then I ended up working in a factory where the radio station never changed for years, and 
The local radio station played Nirvana at least once every couple hours, and it drove me freaking nuts, dude. I have nothing against Nirvana. I thought they were all right, but now I can't stand them because of that radio station playing them endless, endlessly, nonstop, for literally a decade. I listened to Nirvana every couple of hours for literally a decade. I'm good. I'm good without Nirvana in my life. My God. <laughs> my God, I'm okay without it. Disturb? Nah. Do you like Strictly Metal or any other genres? I like a lot of music. Um, yeah, I'm generally into metal, but I enjoy uh, Synthwave and Dark Synthwave quite a bit. Retrowave as well. A good amount of, like, just basic rock is okay. Um, hell, there's even like the occasional pop song that's all right. Like, I don't hate it, you know? Alice in Chains? Yeah, I like Alice in Chains. Yeah, Disturb Sounds of Silence. Sound of Silence is an excellent cover, but I don't really like the rest of what Disturb does as far as music goes. The Sound of Silence was a very good cover, though. Excellent. Anything about country? Yeah, I don't do country whatsoever. I can't. I can't. I just can't. Daft Punk? I feel like that one's universal. Is there anyone that doesn't like Daft Punk? I don't- I don't- Does, does that exist? Ever hip-hop artist? I don't really do so much hip-hop. Um... Like, at least modern stuff. I can say I kind of I, I kind of like a good amount of, like, 90s hip-hop. Like, old, old stuff. Like, think of, like, Bone Thugs and Harmony and stuff like that, you know? I dig that. But it's not something I really go out of my way to listen to, per se. Poison the Well? Yeah, Poison the Well's all right. Zach, think of the two spot. Little known juice fact. Huge Nickelback fan. Yeah. Massive. Massive Nickelback fan. I listen to Nickelback every day. I couldn't get out of bed in the morning if I didn't have Nickelback playing on the radio. <laughs> Flasks? Shit, you're right. My bad. Flasks. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Kansas? No. Kanye? No. Volbeat? Mm, I mean, a few other songs are alright. Flasks. Doubt? Actually, yeah, I do enjoy No Doubt. Like, unironically. Like, I don't know if you're being sarcastic or what, but I actually do- I do like No Doubt, yeah. A little bit of Gwen Stefani? Yeah, dude. Even better, like, when, like when Gwen Stefani went solo, this shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. You know the song. Hell yeah. <laughs> Taylor Swift? Nah. Oh my god, there's more than two of you. Well, I'm in pain. Alright, cool. Right on, Tremaine. Not being sarcastic? Okay, cool. I didn't know if you were, because, like, there's people, like, saying things like, uh, you know. Oh, you know what? Beartooth? Yeah, I like Beartooth. Smashing Pumpkins? Yes. Pink Floyd? Yep. Chimera? Um. 
I'd have to listen to them again to really judge that one fairly. I I want to say yeah, but at the same time I want to say no, you know? Not so much no doubt more Gwen. Yeah, to a certain extent, I can agree with that. I think we're the same age probably. You're 31, I'm 34. It's just in your <laughs> the song is in your head now. You're welcome. I heard that you were talking shit. And you didn't think that I would hear it. Go on, Mr. Nate. Sing it, baby. You think I'm gonna get DMCA'd? Ow, stop. Stop it. I can name a few of my favorite bands to you guys to really narrow it down for you, though. Think of uh, Gojira, Ginger, Trivium, uh, Amana Marth. Uh, anything with Devin Townsend in it, whether it's, uh, you know, the Devin Townsend Project, any of his solo works, or uh, Strapping Young Lad. I enjoy all of that. Danzig, I like Mother. Your dad likes Gojira? Am I your dad? Stone Temple pilots are okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Children of Bodom, they're all right. <laughs> Daddy? Yes, my child. Your dad is 31. Nice. Uh oh. Yeah, I knew that was going to hurt. Oh, shit. Bad timing strikes again. Good, I rolled early. Good, I didn't roll at all. that perfectly it was undodgeable Okay, that's done. That's good. Slipknot, um, earlier Slipknot, yeah. Within Temptation, yeah, they're all right. Nightwish, all right. Favorite movies? So, I don't really, I don't really watch a whole lot of movies. That might seem weird, but as far as movies go, I don't watch a whole lot. 
Uh, so I have a very limited window. A couple of the movies that I've enjoyed the most in my time are The Departed and Gangs of New York. I enjoyed those two films a lot. Danny Day-Lewis's performance in uh, Gangs of New York spe specifically was incredible. You like Tenant? I didn't see it. Pulp Fiction? Pulp Fiction is good, yeah. But I, for me to say, like, a favorite, that's really hard for me because I just don't have a whole lot to compare it to. Uh, to give you an idea, in the, last, in the last year, the only movie I've watched at all, period, was... Uh, <laughs> Uh, what is it? Prince's New Groove, a Disney movie. I watched that with my wife. Emperor's New Groove, not Prince. Emperor's New Groove. Because she wanted to watch it, and we were spending some time together, and that's what she wanted to do. Her and I usually, like, play video games or something together, but she wanted to do that. So we watched Prince, uh, Emperor's New Groove. And that's the only movie I've watched in the last year. Period. I just don't watch a lot of movies. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? What else can we do here? Uh, I know there's a dungeon there. It's a shit dungeon, though. Don't want to do it. Terrible. There's a dungeon down here we can do, though. Let's go do that. He does, Buzz. From what I understand, with more stuff that he's done, he does a great job. Glorious Bastards? Yeah, that was a good film. Yeah. I did see Django. That was pretty solid, yeah. Getting Millicent the Needle? No, not yet. Not yet. Why he was hunting dungeons? Because dungeons are a key way to get items and experience. Guys, we are only 92 likes away from the big 1,000 on the stream. Listen, listen. Listen, if you're enjoying the stream and haven't hit the like button yet, consider doing so. We're only 92 away. That's it. Shawshank Redemption was good. Yeah, and yeah, I'm, I have seen that. That was good. use this and we'll get through wolf of wall street i haven't seen it are you going to use pest threads for elden beast i got to figure out where to get it project i can't remember i found it before a couple times but i can't remember where to get it can't remember if we even buy it somewhere if we have to find it manually i just don't remember forrest gump i have seen forrest gump actually i've seen that one a few times not really so much by my own choice, as much as it was just on at the time. Oh, we get it from Gallery? Okay, easy. Easy peasy. Good call. Please do ASMR, Whisper. ASMR Elden Ring with the Josh feed. Here we are, going to Lightning Spear Cemetery Shade, right in the mouth. Delicious. Dodge that. Get Frenzied Burst ready. Very nice. Kablam. Okay, he dodged it. We try the next spell. Let's try to uh, Black Flame the Cemetery Shade. Very good. Dodge that. Charge. Fire. We land it. We dodge. We dodge again. We horn him. We miss. I'm sad about it. It's okay. Let's calm down. Everyone relax. Listen to the sound of the music. We horn him. Excellent damage. Dragon Maw. We miss. We miss. We try again. It's fine. Let's heal up. That was a lot of damage. I do get too excited. It's hard for me to keep my voice soft. Soft. Dragon Maw, go. I was bled, hemorrhaged, if you will. We try again right now. 
We got him. Very good. Excellent. I would clap, but we're doing ASMR. That's too loud. ASMR play-by-play -play with the Josh feed. Thoughts, guys? Should we rebrand as an ASMR channel? <laughs> Death Row Last Meal Choice? Um. Hmm. Good question. I don't really know, man. I mean, I like food, but I, I, dude, I'm so basic. Like, if I'm gonna choose something like that, it's likely gonna be, it's likely just gonna be like pepperoni pizza or something, dude. Like, I, God, I feel so basic. Hey, guys, am I basic? <laughs> I was asked what my, what if I was on the death row, what my last meal request would be. Pepperoni pizza, please. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's a really hard question for me. I feel so basic. Yeah, just, just get pizza from Marco's, man. It's good. <laughs> I, hope to strapping don't fret. I will teach you basic. Oh, Stream is so basic. Hand, are you? I but honestly, man, I, I would seriously go with just uh, oh, as go on. a good pepperoni pizza from like... Oh, I can, I can actually be very specific about this, if you would like. Back where I grew up, where I grew up, there's a, it's like a local chain in the area I grew up. It's called Nurchies. Nurchies Pepperoni Pizza. Can you give me yes. As well made as it did? Yes, that right there. That's about as specific as I can get. Like, it, it, it's, it's incredible. Keep whispering. You're great at ASMR. Welcome to the ASMR hour with the Josh feed. Here we are, burning my enemies. Very nice. Listen to their screams. So elegant. So crispy. Now I just feel, now that just feels dark. At that point, that's just dark. Die clones with a $2 super chat. Hey, look at that. Sharp spiral. Nice. I vote we rebrand as a React Andy with... <laughs> with Min React? What is Min React? Educate me. Maybe the two spot. You guys, we're going to be a React Andy channel. I'm going to react to everything. We're going to react to... Everything. Yes, happy little screams. So as you can tell, uh, ASMR is really not something I'm good at. Not that I've ever really tried, but not my thing. Yeah. I dropped my water bottle. Bottle. Your reaction? Pick it up, idiot. What the hell are you doing? It's not throwing shit. <laughs> reaction over. Oh my god, react to reacting. I should react to people reacting to reactions. Channel name, Reactception. A level of reacting you've never seen before. So deep. So engaging. How do you get the spiral spell? You have to do Selen's quest and then side with her at the end of the quest. And then you can purchase it from her. What profession other than your own would you like to try the most? As in other than content creation? I don't know. Um, even when I was younger, I, I gave myself like a, you know, I, I tried a whole lot of different things growing up to see what I really would like to do. Help friends work on cars. 
Uh, you know, I tried out a lot of a lot of simpler things like factory work and warehouse work, stuff like that after school. I, w I actually went to college for um, computer science. I wanted to get into video game development, but I quickly learned that I was getting burnt out of that idea in, uh, God. The school, the, the way, the way programming is, you can get burnt out of it very quickly. And so I just kind of lost the love of that idea extremely fast. So I gave up on that. I just, I, I defaulted just doing factory work and then going home and playing video games because that's all I ever wanted. I'm a simple guy, man. Uh, I have ambitions as far as content creation goes, but I don't, I, I'm not really an ambitious person as far as like, oh, I want to be rich. I, 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 I want it all. Like, that, that's not me, man. That's just, it's never been my thing to always just try to gravitate towards getting the most I can in a small amount of time type deal, you know? A lot of people have called me lazy for that, but it's not a matter of being lazy. I just, I've always wanted a simpler life. Like, yeah, I don't know if that's weird or not. So as far as like, if I wasn't making content, if, the, if this wasn't my full-time work, I guarantee you, I would just be doing some like simple warehouse or factory work, making enough to pay my bills and buy video games. And that would be it. Like that's, that's my happiness, man. That truly is. I have my wife alongside me all the while with that. I mean, before I started streaming, that's what we did. She went to work, I went to work. Uh, we would go home, play video games. That's what we did every day, and we were both very happy with it. And then I decided to just kind of share my video game experience with more people via, via streaming. And so that's what we do. That's just... I've always liked very... very simple. The hustle lifestyle, like trying to make every buck, every corner possible, has never really been my thing. I'm very happy to be where I am, in fact. If I wasn't playing video games the way I do now, I would still be playing video games a whole bunch. When you played as me, were you a paragon or a jerk? Oh, I was both, Commander Shepard. I'm both. In fact, we're doing a Karen playthrough of this game right now. I actually did a full-on Karen playthrough in uh, Mass Effect as well, the entire trilogy. We answered uh, everything that made sense as a Karen, <laughs> and it was hilarious. But usually I go paragon. That's my usual default. Yeah, Southpaw, yeah. Uh, I have a wonderful community of all of you guys around me right now that uh, support me in a way that allows me to do what I do full-time. I've been doing uh, streaming full-time for... It'll be four years, uh, October 19th. October 19th will mark four years of streaming full-time. And I've been content creating for over six years total. Don't get me wrong, content creation does have its stresses. Um, but like I said earlier, content creation has been the only thing that's really pulled any level of ambition out of me before, as far as wanting something higher than what I have already got, you know? So I always aspire to have more people hanging out, uh, you know, more people interacting with my, my content in general, but it's always been very simple for me outside of that. Retro, thank you for the $5 super chat. Happiness is important. Take it for someone approaching retirement at a young age. Do what makes you happy. Don't burn yourself out. Yeah, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you for the five spot, man. That's very nice. Very kind. I'm gonna fall. Please stop falling. Was the hardest game you ever played in your opinion? Hardest game I ever played? <laughs> Battletoads, man. 
<laughs> now, um, hardest game I ever played. Honestly, honestly, probably Escape from Tarkov. Probably Escape from Tarkov. That game is uh, dynamic in its difficulty to a point where it has easy moments, but also has some of the most difficult moments that you'll experience in a video game, too. Yeah, that stuff is... That game can be rough, man. But I'll be honest with you as well, as far as like content creation goes, um, it is, it is a, while it's pulled the most ambition out of me, as far as in a, like a working sense I've ever had in my life, it's also the most, it is simultaneously the most exhilarating and the most mentally exhausting and draining stuff at the same time. I, I, I've worked in warehouses and factories and stuff like that, lifting many hundreds and hundreds of pounds in the single packages and with or without forklifts and a lot of sweaty manual labor. But I'm going to tell you, man, content creation, it's worlds more difficult by far. Customer service uh, is probably the only thing that I could actually compare to as far as mental exhaustion goes. And a lot of people don't think that mental exhaustion is real. <laughs> I was one of these people for a long time, man. I didn't think mental exhaustion was real until I experienced it. Mental burnout? Terrible. Terrible, terrible feeling. Thank you again, Retro, for the five spot, man. You watch any anime? I've watched anime before, Callus Forever, but I've not really... I'm not really big on it. Uh, I'm not, like, a, a huge fan. Some of it that I've watched, I have enjoyed. Uh, I, I I can't say that I've not enjoyed it. That would be unfair to say. But just not something that it's, like, my... Like, I don't watch TV shows and movies in general, and that includes anime. I've watched things like uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, uh, Cowboy Bebop, Ghost in the Shell, Trigun, a little bit of DBZ, you know, a lot of like the more common stuff that a lot of people have already seen, you know? But overall, it's not something I really go out of my way to uh, watch. It's the same with everything else. I just don't watch a lot of movies and TV shows. just totally underrated oh absolutely roadie yeah hey god yeah i mean i i did it for the longest time until i experienced it it's rough stuff man but the thing is like listen like every job has its ups and downs right and that includes content creation but like, i always i always i always like put it in forth you know put it forth the most that as mentally exhausting as it can be it's also the most rewarding work that i've ever done in my life Coming from a person that hasn't had a whole lot of true ambition, for sure, may seem like a little bit of a skewed opinion. But as far as work goes, like, it's the only thing that I've ever done in my life that has really brought any ambition out of me. And that's got to say something, right? That's got to say something. I feel like that's fair to say. That's got to, that's got to say something at the end of the day. All right, let me go get some... 
I need to go get uh, Poison Mist. Seinfeld? I actually have seen a fair bit of Seinfeld because of my parents. They really liked Seinfeld. Callus, thank you for the $5 super chat. Thoughts on Game of Thrones? My favorite show? Try it out if you haven't seen it. I have seen, uh, I have seen all of it, yeah. Um... I'm a, I've read all the books as well, at least all the, all of them that are out currently, right? Uh, the books are a fair bit different from the show, specifically after season four. But I think that outside of a couple of the battle scenes in the later half, like from season five on, I think the first four seasons are better overall. Um... I, I'll definitely say that the ending to me does make sense as much as people may not have liked it in the show. Uh, the ending does make sense. It was never going to be happy-go-lucky, and I don't know why people ever thought that it was going to be a happily ever after scenario, much like Mass Effect 3. It's not going to be happy-go-lucky ending in a story like that. It's just not how life is. Sorry to break your heart, but, you know, <laughs> makes sense. George R. R. Martin is a tragedy writer, <laughs> you know? Where is this, uh, scarab? I hear it. There it is. Do you like The Witcher? Yeah. That's actually one of the few TV shows that I do sit and watch. I've not seen all of season two yet. I've seen only a couple episodes, but I'll get around to it eventually. But yeah, Callus, I enjoy it overall. Yeah, yeah. Have you watched Berserker Red Manga? I never have, Ned. I know that's something that people do love dearly, but I have not seen it myself. Yeah, everyone's saying we're almost at 1,000 likes. Yeah, we're only 25 likes away from 1,000, guys. Do we have 25 people here that have not hit the like button yet? Any likers? Any likers? Show's ending wasn't written by GRM? Yeah. Yeah, I know. But all the same, like that ending that did happen does make sense. Granted that the last season was absolutely rushed, and I will always say that, and I agree when people say that there should have been a lot more detail, I completely agree. But the actual, like, the ending points all make sense. Okay, now that we have Poison Mists, let's go up here. Kai, thank you for the $2 super chat. Dinner tip? Thanks, man. Thanks, Kai. What's for dinner, dude? Thanks for the two spot. And then Nimrod with a five euros. Here's a huge recommendation for the not cults. Watch Halt and Catch Fire, my absolute favorite show. Hi, Josh. Hi, Nimrod. What's up, man? What's up, dude? There's a recommendation for everyone. There you go. Very good. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. It's hella nice. Thank you. Daenerys won't go crazy in the books. It'll be an accident. Uh, I mean, you got to think about it, man. Like, as time goes on, as she experiences more and more, her patience wears thinner and thinner. Right? She just kind of gets worn down over time. It just makes sense. Thank you guys for a thousand likes on the stream, by the way. That's massive. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us, Scary Bear. Yeah, I've heard that Berserk is a big inspiration for the Souls games and stuff, but I just, uh, I've not experienced it myself. What talismans am I using right now? We got Turtle Talisman, Radagon Icon, and Two Finger Heirloom. Oh yeah, the, the last season was absolutely out of character. I'm just saying, like, the main ending points. I'm not saying anything about the acting. I'm not talking about the how rushed it felt. I'm not even talking about how out of character everyone seemed. The main points... All, do, all still do make sense when you look at the character's history, their family's history, and then apply that to what's currently going on at the end of the show to them. You could definitely see the path that they could take to get there. It's not, it's not like some hidden mystery that people try to make it out to be. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. What's the game you're looking forward most to? Stalker 2. 
I'm a massive fan of the first Stalker and Escape from Tarkov that's largely based on it. Same idea, just in a multiplayer sense. I really, really enjoy Stalker, and I cannot wait for Stalker 2. I'm really excited about it. General I've heard good things about Sons of Anarchy, yeah. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Hey, Daniel, what's up? Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike. He's Old hungry. General, Look at him. Like a dog. Hungry man. Hey, Cole, thank you for the $2 super check. Congrats on six days in a row Howling and six 1K sky. likes. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. But now. That's very nice. Thank you, man. When will Stalker come out? Stalker 2, uh, I do believe they just resumed development on it not too long ago, like a month or two ago. Um, the studio that makes it is based in Ukraine. So obviously they've had a little bit of a setback recently. Uh, but I do believe they re-entered development just a couple months ago or so. Community or Arrested Developments? Um, I've not seen a whole lot of either. <laughs> I've seen the... Uh, oddly enough, I have seen the entirety of Parks and Rec and The Office, though. But that's mostly because of Wife, again. No summons for Radon? I don't use summons at all, Kevin. Not getting poisoned. There it goes. That took an extra long time. GG Radon down with incantation. Sick. Sick. Let's watch the comet crash. You didn't even break a sweat. Uh, man, I've, I've played this game too much.
<laughs> Why do you summon Patches for help? Does he make it too easy? <laughs> yeah, my man Patches comes in. Intimidates the hell out of Radon. <laughs> You missed the first Radon. So the big thing with the first Radon is he was acting as unintended. The reason why Radon was difficult at launch is because the hitboxes on his swords did not match the actual graphics of his swords. They were uh, a little bit too large. It didn't make any sense. And that's why it was very hard to dodge his stuff because you couldn't actually see what was hitting you. It was very much so like a Demon Souls-esque, like before the remake, like PS3 Demon Souls type stuff where you're getting hit by things that were strictly invisible you could not see it at all and so because of that they obviously had to fix it and when they did fix it they actually did nerf his damage but they fixed it and his damage is the same as it was at launch it's just that the hitboxes are acting appropriately now Why he's tormenting that poor horse? He's not tormenting the poor horse. He actually learned gravity magic as uh, as Scarlet uh, Fonavis. Am I saying that right? Scarlet Fonavis, Fenavis. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing this. Um, he learned gravity magic so that way he can relieve the uh, stress that he puts on the horse because he loves his horse so much. And then a fall. I can't fathom. He was a living limb. Well, the wheel of fate. If it's on the car, you are a fight. Then I know that. Yeah. Yep. Very much so how it was. They, like I said, they did actually nerf his damage, but they did rebuff the damage to where it was meant to be. It was just the hit boxes on his swords that were a mess. Just you wait. So while a lot of people call it a nerf, it was more just an adjustment to the hit box at the end of the day. So. What's lore behind Radon and Stars? He became so good at gravity magic that he became capable of holding back things from crashing into the planet, which directly weakened people like Ronnie. Look at that, guys. We're level 69. Nice. Nice, dude. Have I played Bloodborne? Yeah. Bloodborne is my favorite Soulsborne game. My favorite game from From Software, aside from Armored Core 2, Another Age. And possibly, possibly Armored Core 3 set on the line. That was also very good. Armored Core is excellent. Don't sleep on it. 1K likes? Yeah, we passed 1K likes. Incredible support from our community, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, is there anything else here in K... Oh, you know what I want to do? There's a, uh, a Godskin Apostle right there. Let's go fight him. Oh, you want me to do that Hero Grave? I can do that Hero Grave if you rather. I always forget that thing's up there. You're dating yourself with Armored Core? I know. Incredible games, though. They truly are good. Let me talk to uh, the eccentric guy up here, too. Ooh. Hey, Ken, what's up? How can I get to your level? Just explore around, complete dungeons. Fight bosses, take their runes, and level up. Armored Core Master of Arena was a game I played for entire weekends. Dude, Master of Arena was incredible. Man, I I really do hope. I don't know if you guys saw, but a call, I, I want to say it was like a month and a half or two months ago. Um, From Software put out a tweet saying that they're hiring for future projects. And uh, one of these future projects that uh, they, they showed images on this tweet. Uh, some of it was of like, uh, you know, like Soulsborne stuff. But then one of them was for Armored Core. So there's current rumors going around that their next title might be Armored Core. Which, man, if they can go and make a full-fledged Armored Core game in the sense of... You know, kind of modernizing the game's model but still keeping that massive amount of customization and 
very gritty combat. I think it could be an absolute banger of a game. I, I would absolutely be playing that, by the way. If they if they do come out with an Armored Core, guys, do expect me to stream that. No, no way in hell I'm not playing that, you know? I'm both proud and impressed by how fast and how far you've come and grown since you made your switch from Twitch. Keep on keeping on. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, Cole. You're so nice, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Always read my name as Phonavis. It's supposed to be Edge Speak for Songbird. Phonavis. Phonavis. Okay. Or Phonavis. I guess we have to really clarify the N-A part of that. Phonavis? Is it like N-A-H or is it like N-A-E? You don't activate great runes? Not really well. <laughs> I don't really use them. Is Armored Core on PC? Uh, they're, they're mostly PlayStation, and there's a few that are on Xbox. Um, I don't think they're on PC outside of, like, emulators. Do, 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 do. How are you, gentlemen? All your base. All your base. I'm doing well, Max. How are you? Let's hit the site of grace to replenish our goods and go fight the, the tree spirit. Was that an arrow or a car that just hit you? The answer to that is yes. Looks like it stung a bit, a little bit, yeah. So navel sound would be correct, okay. Even though I can't think of it the other way. English sucks, I know, dude. <laughs> so Phenavis, you got it. I just like to make sure that I say names correctly, out of respect, you know? This tree spirit's brutal? It is. I might die here. A lot. Wish me luck, gamers! behind me? That should be illegal.
Nope, nope, don't like it. Don't like it. Come on, do the head slam. Not that one. Debatably the hardest single tree spirit in the game. Debatably. Um, I would have to weigh this one specifically against any one of the single ones that you find later in the game, specifically after uh, Lanedale becomes Ash. Right? But I still think that is the one I've uh, always had the most trouble with. Okay, that is finito. That's done. I think we're done with Kaled aside from the Divine Tower. What seal is that? I have the God Slayer seal on. Because he has the Dragon Barrow scaling, which is super high. Exactly. Yeah. What's the run? Using incantations only. 100% of the damage I put out has to be via casting incantations. <laughs> <laughs> when, when does it start being difficult? Hey, man, that fight was difficult. Favorite boss of Soulsborn series? I made a, uh, a uh, I made an Elden Ring tier list specifically, Roy, and I can very much so say that I've enjoyed a lot of the bosses in Elden Ring more so than any other uh, Soulsborn game, aside from just a few, like Lady Maria and Sister Frida and uh, Gale and maybe uh, Orphan of Cause. But I did make an Elden Ring tier list if you'd like more details on my favorite bosses from this game specifically. But okay, guys. Um, we do have this here that we can do. But I think we're going to start off the day with that tomorrow. And then from there, we move up to Altus Plateau and Mount Gelmir. I think I'm pretty much done with Kaelid. I know there's a couple things. Like there's a dungeon here. I know there's a dungeon over uh, like here-ish. Somewhere in there with a rune bear in there. Uh, but I think I'm just done with Kaled in general. Aside from the Divine Tower itself, because it has a Godskin Apostle. So I'm going to get out of here for now, but I will be back again tomorrow for more. So make sure that if you haven't already, you leave a like on the stream. Whether you're watching this live or the video later, I appreciate your company. Thank you for hanging out with me while we make our way through Elden Ring using incantations only. With our beautiful Karen character, who spits absolute hot fire. Nice. Nice. And of course, if you enjoy single player video games, make sure you do subscribe to the channel as well. I do all sorts of single player games here, both live on stream and in video format. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of it, okay? It'll be great to have you guys here for more tomorrow. I'll be live at 4 p.m. Eastern time. I hope to see you here. I hope to see you here. And until then, hope you enjoyed your time. Be excellent to each other. Good night, everyone.